And it begins again. Hell yeah. Getting ready to stream some more video games. It's been a while since my last game stream. I'm looking forward to playing something like this. Something a little bit more pick up and play. Something a little less narrative, you know? I really dropped the Resident Evil 4 and uh, Dead Space remake streams like a bad habit, but something like this is more my kind of thing. I could just jump into the game, just have a good time. Now, we'll be starting in less than, less than half a minute, so uh, getting ready to go. All right, sweet. I'm looking forward to streaming this for you guys. Happy Texas Chainsaw Massacre Day in advance. Hopefully, you're all having a good... A good time on this, what should be a national holiday, commemorating the lives lost on this glorious day. Just remembering all the good times they had in that house. All right, let's begin. Greetings, I'm your host, Dr. Wolfiller, and welcome to Doc's Game Room, where I live scream horror games for your dangertainment. Tonight's feature presentation will be commemorating the 50th anniversary of the day the Texas Chainsaw Massacre took place, August 18th, 1973. It's been 50 years. The movie totally happened. The event totally happened. Maybe the movie kind of messes around with certain things, but trust me, it definitely happened. The movie... The movie came out really fast, you know, considering, like, I think about a year, 1974 was its release. So they got that movie out fast, but trust me, it, it totally happened. It wasn't just a device to sell more tickets. So happy Texas Chainsaw Massacre Day to all of you. Hopefully you're having a good time today. And of course, they released, this is like, the, you know, the smart marketing for this game. They released the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre game today on Texas Chainsaw Massacre Day, 50 years to the date, and I'm here to play it with you guys today. The new Texas Chainsaw Massacre game on PC through Game Pass. Now, before I begin, though, I just want to let you guys know there will be a new Gulag video coming soon. It's going to be on the Gulag channel, so su subscribe to that video. Subscribe to that channel, I should say, and watch the video when it comes out, because it's going to be a big, very special video. I'm going to be in it. And it's a very, it, we're currently editing it. It's a real bitch to edit. And also I'll be reviewing this Texas Chainsaw Massacre game next week. So keep an eye out for that. That'll be here on this channel though. But subscribe to the Gulag. Also, if you want to support the channel and uh, get some bonus movie nights every weekend, every Sunday, I got a Amityville 3D movie night stream tomorrow on Sunday. So support the channel if you want to check out that stream and some more Amityville just delightful Amityville movies. Oh, God. These movies are just real classics from the start, you know? So, you know, consider it. Also got uh, that Halloween, the Old Myers Place audiobook. Part one of it, the first 50 pages of it in early access. If you want to listen to it early, it'll be available here on the channel eventually. But if you want to listen to it early, consider supporting. All right. Now let's begin for real. I have the game minimized. It should pop up right now. Theoretically, yes. Okay, good. Took a, took a moment. <laughs> All right. Just a blank void playing the game. Now, the game, I should say, is pretty bare bones. Which, you know, I guess is appropriate for a game with so many bones in it. But it really just has... The tutorial section is kind of pathetic. It is just videos. You know, you play a video that explains the different ways how to play the, ga the game. Stop. I was disappointed by that. I was hoping there would be an actual playable tutorial like the Evil Dead game. I really appreciated that. It got me really prepared, but this game doesn't have that. The only thing in the game is purely the multiplayer aspect, um, which works. It, like, this game is very solid. It's very polished. They took their time. It's clear that they took their time to just focus on this one thing, just this one gameplay style. They didn't try to buy off more they could chew, like with the Friday the 13th game. It's pretty streamlined, and, you know, it works, but there isn't a lot here. So I recommend, unless you're a collector, like, don't buy this game digitally. Like, if you're a collector, you know, and you want the physical copy, go get that. But don't buy this game digitally, and if you have an Xbox or a PC with Game Pass, just, you know, play it through that. Don't buy the game digitally. I don't recommend it until there's a lot more content, if there is. But let's begin with the family mode. The Saw is family, after all. The Saw is family. And the dog will hunt. 
and the Saw Will family. Now, this may or may not take a while for me to find a match. Sometimes it's super fast, sometimes it's a little iffy. So we're gonna just um, see how it goes. But you know, it gives you an idea of what the game is like, at least on opening day, the first day. It gives you a decent idea how it plays out. Let me get a look at my audio. Okay, good. All right. Just making sure there's no audio issues. And is Billy Zane here? Billy Zane better be here. I, I, I see people mentioning Billy Zane, but I don't see him. And the saw is also the load bar, as Way Cool Dude says. The saw is the load bar. Yeah, I don't see Billy Zane right now. Let me see. All right. Billy Zane is not my lover. I see Billy the Kid. Hello, Billy the Kid. Oh, there you are, Billy Zane. Hey, Billy Zane. It's always so polite how he introduces himself. He lets us know that he's Billy Zane. Yeah, so th I'm on crossplay mode. So I'm connected to, you know, PC, PlayStation, Xbox players. Um, still taking a little bit to find a match, unfortunately. So, I guess I'll address some questions. If you guys have questions in the chat, I'll address them while we try to find a match, just to have something going on. All right, well. Okay, Billy Zane has a question. Why isn't there a Demon Knight game? That would be pretty cool. I wouldn't be surprised if they did eventually come out with a Tales from the Crypt asymmetrical horror game. Where I guess maybe, you know, the Crypt Keeper could be, like, hosting it and, like, narrating it and stuff. He, like pops in and like, hey, boys and ghouls, boils and ghouls, how you doing? Uh, we got a little, I, I don't know who would be like chasing him or any, like who would be chasing people around, but uh, it could work. I got the Hanson skin for my chainsaw in re recognition, of course, of Gunnar Hanson, the OG Leatherface. This game has, I, I've noticed homages to Kim Hankel, the co-writer of the original movie and co-creator of the franchise. And this uh, DLC, this free DLC of the Hanson Chainsaw skin. But I haven't noticed really any Toby Hooper homages yet. Hopefully there are some, because he was gone too soon. And, you know, it'd be nice to just see something like a little Easter egg. It's got to be somewhere, though. Got to be somewhere. Probably just, like, fucking calling, saying Hooper County or something somewhere or whatever. Hooperton, like is just mentioned on a radio broadcast. Nicole L. asks, why was Amityville 2 so icky? Well, because it had um, incest sex. If you haven't seen Amityville 2, The Possession, it features a sex scene between a brother and sister. Through Possession, I guess. So I guess that's a pretty streamlined uh, explanation. I definitely need to review those movies because they're fucking crazy. Got a lot of potential material there. I did never realize just how crazy those movies really were. I never saw the sequels until now. It's gonna be fun. We're waiting for one more guy to join. So, um... It's always like a last-minute thing, I notice, with this game. It's like, in the last 30 seconds, somebody finally is added to the lobby. And then we can begin. Um... I guess, well, I guess we don't have a the guy anyway. I guess I could show you guys I, I I guess the different characters you could play as. Um, Leatherface is the most savage. He's savage as fuck. You can change out your loadout. I don't really know if I have that much stuff. I haven't leveled up that much. You can also, you, you have a skill tree. Don't quite understand it yet. I think it just adds more stuff to your loadout, so I guess I'll just add that. I don't really understand any of this. I haven't unlocked the other Leatherface skins. Don't have the Pretty Woman one yet, or the Old Lady. You gotta do this game for a while, but at least it's not paid DLC. We're still waiting. We're almost there, though. Okay, wait. It looks like someone got added. All right, sweet. We got a Sunny. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You know, I mean, not a big fan of the long waits, but, you know, it is opening day. They're probably having some issues with the servers. My fear with this game is that it, they won't be able to add a lot more new content, and it'll kind of just die off eventually. Hopefully they can, because they've made it clear that they don't have the rights to any of the sequels. They're just hoping that this game is successful enough that it will get Hollywood's attention, and they'll be able to, like, work out some deals with the different studios, because I, you know, 
just off the top of my head, um, Warner Brothers owns the rights to three and the remake and its prequel. Sony apparently owns the rights to the second movie, so they can't have Chop Top. They had to create, like, some new characters for this game. They're kind of lame. Um, but hopefully the, those things change. Hopefully you'll be able to see our Arlie Ermey in this game as Sheriff Hoyt just... I guess using a gun. That should be interesting. Just adding a gun to this game. We'll see. Hopefully they can get Chop Chop, though. Because I feel like they could have at least got... I don't know, some of the other actors from the sequels playing characters inspired by their characters. So it feels like they're holding off so they can hopefully get the official characters in. So we can have an official Chop Top instead of like, you know, a bootleg Chop Top, I guess. But we'll see. All right, so I guess Leatherface always starts out in the basement. I've always loaded in in the basement. The different killers load up in different areas of the uh, maps, but I always load up in the basement. So I guess it's always a predetermined kind of location for your character. And Leatherface is um, not a great guy to have in the basement because that's where all of the victims are. This game is pretty one-sided. Um, it's definitely trying to replicate a horror movie where m maybe everybody dies or maybe one person survives. It's uh, really touch and go if you're a survivor or a victim, as they call it in this game. Gre uh, greetings to you, Angela Pearlfish, and thank you for the super chat donation. Appreciate it. Sarah says the leather face here is Kane Hodder, and they have remake Lori in this game. Oh yeah, they have Scout Taylor Compton as one of the survivors. And they did motion capture for Kane Hodder and Scout Taylor Compton, and they have the actress that played Deborah in the- Oh! Got my first swing! There we go! Hello, Not Kirk! Leland! Alright, you're almost dead! There we go! Alright, sweet! It took a while to get into the game, but we got our first kill. That's all that matters, and I got that Hanson chainsaw bloody. Savage as fuck. But yeah, you know, th th this movie, this game also has, you know, the actress that plays Deborah in the Halloween remake playing, um, playing Sissy. So she does the motion capture in the voice of Sissy, who's basically just Sherry Moon Zombie. Just, <laughs> just an impression of Sherry Moon. Um, I guess they're a big fan of the Halloween remake, I guess. I'm kind of surprised they didn't get Tyler Maine to do motion capture for Leatherface. Maybe they tried, they just couldn't make it happen. Alright, well, I guess they went through that crawl space. Leatherface can't go through, uh, tight, tight, uh, tight spaces, you know? Unless that tight space is stretched, then he can definitely go into that tight space. But if it's not stretched, he can't. Oh man, that'd be so cool if they could add stretch to this game. <laughs> Probably not, you know. It'll be cool if they could manage to get the licensing. Because they want to... They made it clear they want to add the sequel stuff, but they just can't. Hopefully they can, uh, but it feels like... I don't know. Maybe work out the licensing for the sequel stuff, because that Evil Dead game got it all. Got everything in. They managed to do it. So, this game is a little... Okay, I gotta put my phone on silent. There we go. Thank you for the super chat, Johnny Recaps Movies. Happy Texas Chainsaw Massacre Day to you as well. Yeah, I lost that chick. I saw her and then I lost her. Okay, well, Leatherface can listen. He's got like daredevil powers. So he can apparently listen and hopefully find that chick to kill it. Also, okay, I guess my vial is full because I killed the fuck out of that one guy. So I guess I should just go up to grandpa. The issue with this game, whether you're a survivor or a, um, or I should say a, a victim or a family member is, the basement is really labyrinthine, labyrinthine, and there's no map. So it's really hard to find your way out. Even if you're a family member, like I have no clue. I'm like, just looking around. Maybe there's something where there's like, I'm just looking for stairs up and I don't see any stairs up. Because I want to show off Grandpa. But I can't. Okay, well, I actually, this should go up. Okay, hopefully this will take me where I want to go. 
No, no, this is a dead end. Yeah, yeah, this is a dead end. Great. All right. Looking for that. I wish they included a map. Um, at least if you're playing as a family. Because I feel like, you know, you would have a map because this place is so confusing. Why wouldn't you have a map for this place? This place is insane. And it's so dark. Okay, hopefully... The All right, this should lead up. Theoretically. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, no, that's... That's Johnny. Oh, Johnny, you jackass. Open the door, Johnny. Johnny. Ugh. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks for closing that door for me. All right, I'll close it now. Can I lock it? Yeah, I can lock it. Cool. All right, sweet. All right, finally out of the basement. Okay, all right. It looks like Sissy just got somebody. No, okay, Sissy didn't get somebody. I'll get her. There we go. All right, two for two. Sweet. Now, Sissy has a bad breath ability. Or I guess maybe, I don't know. She's like Shrek. She can burp and it releases like a green fucking cloud. Man, I don't know if you guys remember it, but I remember when I first got the original Xbox the the game i got with it was the shrek game and you could you there was a a burp button and a fart button and you could light your farts on fire and then like jump off your farts it was a wild game it was like super mario 64 but you played as shrek you had like these open world environments to do missions in it was wild but okay i should probably explain you feed grandpa blood that you collect from either buckets or from kills. And uh, once he gets enough blood, he levels up and he can hear things and tell you, tip you off if there's victims nearby to slay. Um, just like the movie, you know? That's why they needed to give grandpa blood so he could see through walls, you know? It's it's really true to the film. It's 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 th this game is extremely accurate. No liberties were taken. Now is that a survivor? Nah, that's sissy. Good old sissy. And uh, you can thrust in tight spaces. You know, uh, just to let you guys know. Now you can explore. You know, these like sometimes victims will hide in these kind of things. I don't know why it's not letting me search. I'm pressing the X button. Like, the rest of my inputs are working, but, yeah, it just won't let me... If I didn't know any better, someone was hiding in here, but I just couldn't open it. Like, now I don't even have the input. Okay, so here's the first bug I've encountered. Can't, um... <laughs> can't open that cooler. Whatever. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Um, so that happened. Yeah, all right. Okay. That wasn't a bug then. That was just the match just uh, shutting down. All right. Well, that was fun. <laughs> okay. Let's try again. I don't know if this game has a peer-to-peer -peer connection system or if it actually has dedicated servers, but I don't know. But that's the first time that's happened. I've done, I think, like 10, 10 matches today. That's the first time I, like, got timed out. So, uh, we'll try this again. Oh, well. You know, that's just how it is. I was like, why isn't anything working? Oh, okay. Now I get it. So, uh, while I wait, I guess I'll, uh, if you guys have any questions. Um, Bob Marley asks, Hey, Doc, how old are you? I'm old enough to party. I'm old enough to party. That's all that really matters. I'm old enough to party. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah asks, is this game incredibly buggy? Not really. That was the first... I mean, that wasn't really a bug. It seems like it's either a server issue or someone disconnected or something. I didn't disconnect. And my internet is working because you guys can see this stream. So, um... And my connection is in the green for the stream. So, I guess... I don't really know. I can't explain it. Um... Bit of an issue, though. Uh... But, uh, it hasn't been buggy for me, but I think that's part of, like, they made sure that the scope of this game was very narrow. So, it wouldn't be too buggy. 
It wouldn't have, like, these massive maps and tons of characters, uh, anything like that. It has, like, you have um, ten characters you can potentially play as, five of which play pretty similar, similarly, and you have just three maps. They made it pretty simple and streamlined, so it's not very buggy because it's got a pretty simple uh, style of, uh, you know pretty simple approach you know it doesn't have like a lot of features it's pretty uh simple like honestly i am a i am enjoying this game more than i enjoyed the evil dead game just because the evil dead game had a lot of depth which is great for people who are super into these asymmetrical horror games but i like this game because it's like the friday the 13th game where it's pretty straightforward. You, If you've seen the movies, you know what you gotta do. If you're Leatherface or any of his family members, you just gotta chop people up. And if you're a victim, you just gotta try to escape. It's pretty simple in its approach. There isn't, like, a ton of rules you need to, like, remember or different game mechanics where you can't just jump back into it. Like, that was the thing that always got to me with that Evil Dead game was there's just so many things you needed to remember. And if you hadn't played the game in a while, you needed to, like, try to practice, try to, like, relearn all the shit. Like, if, with the Friday the 13th game, the great thing is I didn't really need to relearn anything. If I felt like streaming it, I could just do it, you know? It was pretty basic. It was pretty simple. And, of course, you know, this publisher put out the Friday the 13th game, and, you know, it didn't play out very well hopefully this time it plays out better it, this game has a different developer from the friday the 13th game so it feels a little bit more polished it's from a developer that seems like it has a lot more experience with with different kinds of games uh so hopefully you know this game has a longer lifespan but i think also the fact that this game just has the rights to the original movie it should be it shouldn't really have any you know, legal difficulties, especially since Toby Hooper has passed away and the original movie's rights are exclusively owned by Kim Hankel now. So it's just like, you know, he and he's involved with this game, too. It seems like, you know, this game is at least pretty safe from something like that, where hopefully, like, I feel like the only issue that could pop up is if they introduce some sequel stuff and then there's like some difficulties licensing wise now we may or may not go into this with one less victim but usually a victim just jumps in at the last minute we'll see though we will see the wait times in the lobby are always brutal especially since like only two people in this lobby me and the legacy spooky are the only ones oh okay all right well and we gotta wait even longer. But thank you, Sonny, for joining. And then, you know, someone joins last minute, right as we're beginning. Hopefully everybody clicks that check mark, like we're on Twitter. Leatherface is uh, verified on Twitter. That's why he has that check mark. Gavin says, I don't know why people compare this to Dead by Daylight. It's definitely more like Friday the 13th. I mean, I couldn't get into Dead by Daylight at all. I tried to, but it just wasn't my kind of thing. I was more into the Friday the 13th game, because it was more like what I expect from the movies. And, you know, more into the Evil Dead game. I, I just can't get into Dead by Daylight. It just It's not my kind of thing. It's kind of ironic, though. That game has you putting people on hooks, but you don't put anybody on a hook in this game except in these cutscenes. I guess they were like, all right, we don't want to... We want to try to avoid comparisons to Dead by Daylight, even though it might be like an obvious mechanic. I guess it's technically a mechanic for the victims. The victims have to get down from those hooks. Now, can I just squeeze through here? now? Oh, well. Don't want to make too much noise. All right, well, let's start up this saw. Hopefully we get a full match. Hopefully that first match was just an anomaly. But, you know, at least I have, you know, material for the review. <laughs> It's like, you know, a match disconnected, you know. Eric B. asks, will you ever do a Blu-ray DVD collection video? I've been thinking about it, trying to plan for it, but uh, 
Just now, was that the cook? Oh no, that's a that's a survivor. All right, victim. I want to keep the branding consistent. That's a victim. But I've been trying to you know get around to doing a DVD uh, collection video. Just now, is he hiding in here? Let's see if I can listen. Okay, someone someone shook that thing, so that gotta mean he he ran past it. And if not, at least I can get some blood for Grandpa. Where did you hide? Where did you hide? Okay, maybe... Hmm. Xavier the God has a super chat. For me, I like being a survivor on Dead by Daylight, but I like being the killer. Well, Jason on Friday the 13th more. I mean... The great thing about the Friday the 13th game is that they could... Since there was one kind of killer, they could really focus their efforts on that one killer. Like... They could really just give you a lot of options just for Jason. Whereas, Dead by Daylight, they license and create so many killers. They can't really, I don't know, give them the same level of love that they could give the individual killer. Because all the Jasons are... Well, all the Jasons are kind of basically the same, except different parameters are set. Where this Jason can run, this Jason can walk. But otherwise, they're pretty similar. Okay. Oh, he... Okay, did he go around the corner? Damn it. They're sneaky. Where are you hiding? Where are you hiding, boy? Where's Leland? All right, let's just get some blood. Let's be at least a little bit... Um, a little bit proactive here. A little productive. Give leather... Fa no, give Grandpa something. Did I hit him? Oh, he hit me. Ah, oh, man. Where'd he go? He's a shifty one. Ah, ability on cooldown. Where are you hiding, Leland? No, that's not Leland. All right, well. Let's see. Grandpa, mobilize. Okay, I gotta go up to Grandpa. Check up on that. Old man. Okay. Um. So yeah, the victims can attack Grandpa. I don't think they can kill him. They just make it so he can't help you anymore. He can't see through walls for a limited time. You know, Grandpa was the best, so you can't just easily kill him. Okay, I gotta get out of this fucking basement. I'm getting claustrophobic down here. All right. Hopefully this leads up. All right. I, I saw Leland. He's a shifty bastard. Leatherface can't climb up ladders. Of course. Of course it's a fucking ladder. All right, well. Come on, close it. I wish, maybe you can hold a button and he'll close it as he exits, maybe. But maybe not. Okay, I hear somebody getting fucked up right now. Come on, where are you guys getting fucked up? Okay, well, looks like we got somebody killed. Now, does this lead up? No, that leads to a dead end. I hate these basements. It really sucks playing as Leatherface because you're stuck in these basements at the start. Like, it's kind of funny. Like, you... Nobody seems to want to play as Leatherface. You could easily just play as Leatherface if you want to. Okay, I saw Leland, or somebody like Leland. No, wait, that's Sonny. All right, hey, Sonny, how you doing? How you doing, Sonny? Get over here, Sonny. Okay. Oh, fuck, Sonny, open the door. Oh, hey, hey, Drayton. Actually, I don't know if they could legally call him Drayton in this game. I feel like that's a name introduced in two. So I don't know. They call the, the they call the family the Slaughter family in this game, which is what apparently T Kim Hankel always intended their name la their last name to be. They're not the Sawyers, and I'm not so into the Slaughter family name. And also, especially since it kind of reminds me of Next Generation, where they also are called the Slaughter family. Just a kind of dumb name. Just I don't know, kind of comic booky. Um, a little on the nose. Sawyer is a little more subtle, where it has saw in it, but it sounds like, you know, 
kind of folksy southern sort of name. Okay, well, it looks like Las Vegas disconnected. All right, well. King of the Fat Ass with a super chat, thank you. Uh, Doc, will you be watching Ahsoka? Um, maybe. I, but then again, I didn't watch season three of The Mandalorian. Okay, I should probably feed Grandpa. Well, no, there's like a cool down where you can't feed him. Right away, damn it. I need to, though. I'll wait till Grandpa's hungry. But yeah, I didn't watch season three of The Mandalorian. I kind of, I don't know. I loved, I really did love Andor, though. I'll probably check out Andor season two. Andor was like a surprise. It felt like a Star Wars thing with an insane amount of, an insane amount of just, I don't know, creativity to it. Like thinking outside the box, telling a different kind of story. Like, an especially adult Star Wars story, which was, pretty refreshing like it wasn't dumbed down or anything like that it's kind of interesting an interesting use of the form of tv to tell a much more engaging kind of story instead of there's like some bad guys and we need to kill those bad guys all right let's do it okay let's team up hopefully we can kill those bad robots and shit i don't know <laughs> there's a space station we need to blow it up i don't know you only watch so many base station blowing up things until you're like, well, I don't know. But I, I might watch Ahsoka, you know? Zario Dawson, you know. She was cool as, as, as Ahsoka when I saw her in season two. I was excited about that. Seeing a cartoon character finally in live action was pretty interesting. Because, you know, I watched all of Clone Wars. I know my Star Wars, but I just... I, missed out on Mandalorian Season 3, and I feel like I need to catch up on that first. I guess I'll wait and see how people feel. Because, you know, I gave... Oh, man, Legacy Spooky Escape. Oh, well, at least I get to dance. Whether or not you succeed or lose as the family, you always get this dance. It's always Leatherface dancing. You know? Appreciate it. And just imagine watching Kane Hodder dance. Just doing the motion capture for that dance. Oh, boy. It must be amazing. All right. Well, let's head to the next match. I will be playing as a different family member. Yes. King of the Fat asks with a super chat, thank you. Also, do you think Leatherface shops at Home Depot? Um, well, I guess that depends on if Home Depot was around in the 70s, 60s. It maybe was, but it maybe wasn't, maybe wasn't nationwide yet. I guess maybe modern Leatherface today, maybe shops at Home Depot, maybe that's where he gets his chainsaws now. It's just convenient, they're everywhere. They're just, they're just ubiquitous. They're the hardware chain, so chances are if they do reboot the franchise today, probably take place at a Home Depot. <laughs> Yeah, it'll take place at a Home Depot. Yeah, okay. I don't know what I was thinking there, but yeah, I mean, it'll, they'll probably just make it take place in a Home Depot. Because where else are you going to get chainsaws? I mean, come on, get real. I mean, that would be great, though, in a, in a new Halloween movie where they have him, like, steal his mask from a hardware store, and it's like a Lowe's. It's like, for some reason, Lowe's stocks these creepy fucking masks. It still has to be the hardware store, you know? It'd be interesting. Xavier the God has a super chat. Ahsoka should have died to Vader in Rebels. It feels like that would have been a really emotional thing. It feels like that would have made sense. Like, this is how far Darth Vader has gone. But no, no, she survives through it all. I always thought that was what they were building up to with Ahsoka. Like, he turns... Like, part of his turn to the dark side is maybe she dies along the way in her Jedi journey. Or later... He encounters her. He has to hunt her down and kill her. But no, it didn't happen. Because, you know... The, uh, you know, the showrunner of these Star Wars things... Oh, wait, no. I don't want to play as Leatherface. The thing is, the unfortunate thing is somebody has to play as Leatherface. I'll play as the cook. Okay, okay, good. Spork to Fork is playing as Leatherface. That's a requirement. If you're playing as the family, somebody has to play as Leatherface. You can't avoid it. I think if you 
time out the clock. The game will probably randomly select one of the family, yeah, one of the family players to play as Leatherface. And I don't know why it's a requirement. I guess it's just part of the branding. You gotta have Leatherface in every match. I don't know, but uh, you know. I guess it would feel a little weird, I guess, not having Leatherface around. He's gotta be there. He's gotta be there. You know? Just isn't complete without him. So, now we wait. We wait about two minutes. But hopefully... Okay, I'm gonna uncheck Mark and recheck Mark. And hopefully they'll all check Mark. Because I'm waiting on these two players at the bottom to turn on their check marks. Because they're subscribed to Twitter Blue, or I guess it's called X Blue now. And they need to have their check marks on for the world to see, to let everyone know they're verified and that they're important now because they paid a subscription. So click on the click on your check mark, Julie. Turn your check mark, Julie. Turn your check mark. Fucking Julie. Ridiculous. The fucked up thing is. You could predict who dies in the opening based on who based on who isn't present in the victims. So Sonny is going to be the one who's killed because he's not here. There's five victim players you could choose from, but only four can be in a match. So Sonny's going to be the guy getting killed. You know, you know, you know, black guys got to die first. Come on, Julie. Click the check mark. Just click the check mark. Come on. Deadpool nerd asks, I wonder what DLC for this will be like. Could guest slashers work? I don't know if that could work. I don't know necessarily. I guess if they fit the world of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. If you added, like, Hills Have Eyes characters, that could maybe work. That could maybe work, but, you know, you can't really add Freddy Krueger to this. You I mean, I guess, I guess an interesting thing you could do is if you reimagine the other famous slashers if they were Texas Chainsaw Massacre characters, which is maybe what they maybe could have done with the other original slasher characters they made for this game, the original family members they created. I, I feel like they could have made a more monstrous family member that's kind of like Leatherface, but he's more overtly cannibalistic, where he maybe has, like, jagged teeth and his attack is biting people and shit, and he's more feral. Something like that. I mean, maybe think outside the box a bit more, because Johnny and Sissy are a little bland. They kind of just stick out like sore thumbs. They just, I don't know, they just don't quite fit, necessarily. But, you know, they couldn't get Chop Top. They couldn't even get Tex. They couldn't get, um, Alfredo or whatever the other fucking one from the third movie was. I don't know. All right, time to show off playing as the cook. The cook's signature weapon is a broken broom handle. I feel like such a badass holding this broom handle. Oh man, I'm so cool. I'm so fucking cool, man. Now the thing is, if you're a non-Leatherface guy, you can't go down in the basement until Grandpa hears uh, a victim make noise. But I can at least feed Grandpa, I guess. And I think that'll actually make it so he can start sensing victims. But look at this. This is so accurate. And look at, look at the fucking kitchen. Look at... This is all so accurate. That's pretty cool. I don't know why they didn't at least include a free roam mode where you can get to know the maps, explore them, and just take in the details without being online. But, you know, it's... It's whatever, I guess, you know? You know? Sarah says, why does the cook use a broom handle? Because that's what he uses to beat Sally in the original movie. That's the only weapon I recall him being shown using. Um, so, that's like, all right, I guess we have to give him a broom handle. All right, okay, let's feed Grandpa. Here you go, Grandpa. Are you thirsty? Here you go. All right, yeah. He's like a goldfish, you know? It's like, you know, you got to feed him. <laughs> He's probably got the memory of a goldfish, too. Now Grandpa will hopefully soon be able to see through walls, just like in the movies. But yeah, they did a great job recreating the visual style of the original movie. In a way, none of the sequels have ever really 
bothered to or when they do try to recreate the original movie style it looks really shitty this looks pretty accurate and also just looks nice it looks i guess part of it is the fact that it's a video game too i feel like now like you know they want to recreate um they want to recreate props from the original movie they 3d print them they 3d print the bones whereas in the original movie it's all real bones and shit that's part of the charm they did it all for real now the cook's signature move is he can hear through walls i guess just like grandpa i don't know king of the fat has a super chat i thought the cook didn't take no pleasure in killing and he leaves the killing to leatherface and the hitchhiker you know there's some things you have to do like he says in the movie you know and he does like it, but the thing about it is the cook, he is a hypocrite. He's not, he's not somebody you really trust. He's like living a double life. He's pre he presents himself as this, you know, on the level character, but it turns out he's like in league with this cannibalistic family. You know, he's not trustworthy. Get over here. Let me broom handle you good, girl. Where you go? All right, did you? Oh, she stunned me, I guess. Let's see, did she go in here? I saw the little... Okay, yeah, she went in there. All right. Cut her off. I guess you can close the doors as you as you walk by them. All right. Let's see if I can catch up to her. I think that was Connie, I believe. Connie. Now, the cook, much like Leatherface, cannot go through... Oh, wait. Oh, that's the hitchhiker. But that's pretty... That's pretty accurate to the... Um, the movie, though, the hitchhiker beat the shit out of... I mean, no, not the hitchhiker. The, the cook beat the shit out of the hitchhiker. Just so you guys know, after this stream, I'm gonna re I'm gonna finally be watching my 4K copy of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I haven't watched the 4K yet. Had it for a bit. But finally, check out the movie in 4K HDR. That's gonna be nice. All right. Um. So if you... Press up on your uh, D-pad. For a little limited time, you could see your other family members and see what they're doing through walls. All right, but let's listen up for... Let's listen up. He can't really... Basically, his hearing mode is... He could kind of... You could kind of sort of... If you're if you're in the right spot, you can get a beat, beat on uh, a victim, but it's... Never, it doesn't work all the time. It only really works well if they're, like, walking around. If they're sneaking around, it's it's not great. Do I have... Okay, I got a decent amount of blood. I'll just feed Grandpa. Hopefully... Hopefully, um... It'll... Okay, hey, Leatherface. How you doing? You darn fool! You ruined the door! Oh, wait, where'd he go? All right, well, well. Man, he's ruining so many fucking doors. Look at this. They even have the armadillo. Like, damn, the table is so spot on. All right, let's feed... Gr let's feed Grandpa. Well, okay, it looks like his power has already increased, so let's wait. Where you got... Okay! Now, Grandpa will highlight people if they're running around. But for a limited time, so at least you have an idea of where they are. If you could find your way out of the fucking house. Oh, my God. All right, let's feed Grandpa while I'm over here. Hopefully Leatherface is on top of things. Ah, oh, hell yeah. I am hoping they can at least do a DLC based on the original movie. Basically just a reimagining of the original movie where it's... This is trying to be a, a canonical prequel to the original movie with, like, an original story and original victims and some original killers. But I'm hoping they can work... They could at least do a... They can at least do a DLC based on the original movie, where it takes place in 74. And, oh, well, not 74. 73. 74 is when the movie came out. And they can, um... Get down here. Okay. All right. I'll climb down after you. Very slowly. Oh, yeah. This is fun. Just imagine Leatherface climbing down this thing. How, how fast he would be. Oh, God. All right, I see you, Connie. Get over here. But yeah, they could at least do a DLC based on the original movie where you have Kim, you have Kirk. Oh, wait, no, not Kim. You have Kirk, Pam, Sally, um, and even Franklin. Maybe Franklin, you could give blood to Franklin. He could see through walls. Okay, oh, man, they are durable. They hit hard. Come on, Hitchhiker, you got this. I believe in you, Hitchhiker. Yeah, yeah, Hitchhiker. Okay, I should probably... 
stay over here in case she tries to. No, wait. It looks like Hitchhiker got it. Looks like he's got it under control, maybe. No, I didn't see an execution, so... Yeah, I didn't see an execution. Okay, no, she's over here. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll wait over here. You got it, Hitchhiker. Come on, Hitchhiker. Finish her off, Hitchhiker. Come on, Hitchhiker. You got this. There we go. Oh, Hitchhiker. Oh, Hitchhiker, you really dropped the ball. Now we have to climb up the ladder super slowly. Great. Come on, Hitchhiker. Get it together. You're gonna get such a ass whomping with my fucking broom handle. Katie says, is he playing against the computer or people? No, this game has no computer players. This is all... If this game had computer players, they'd be dumb as fuck. They'd be so dumb. They'd be so... The Friday the 13th computer players were just brain dead. They were so easy to kill. It was kind of nice, though. But nope, this is, uh, real people. Alright. Where did they go? Damn it. Oh, well. I got some blood. And I see uh, some blood over there to feed to Grandpa. I don't know. Yeah, maybe... I don't know. Alright. Oh, wait! There you are, Connie. How you doing, girl? Get over here, Con Why is she so durable? Alright, well... Oh, shit. Oh, no. This is buggy. Okay, he was shifting around there for a moment. That was weird. I was afraid I was going to get another disconnect. Okay. All right. Connie has lived quite a bit. There's Leatherface. Okay, well, it looks like they got Connie taken care of. All right. Okay, well, I think we killed everybody. I think. Not sure, because it's hard to tell because no matter what, Leatherface always dances. I don't know if this is a dance of victory or a dance of defeat. And another attention to detail is they have a space between Chain and Saw, like the original movie's title, which is not how you spell Chainsaw, but I guess it's just how they copyrighted the film. And maybe that's part of the licensing too. It's something I always forget, but I try to make sure. Now that the game really insists on it, I make sure. Okay, we killed everybody. Good. Well, okay. Okay, no, yeah, we did kill everybody. It's just after Fierce's shark died, he disconnected. All right. Let's play as a different killer. Yeah, this game insists on being called Texas Chain Saw Massacre. Brady Wells has a super chat. Thank you, Brady. Every October, I dress up as Michael Myers and walk the streets of my hometown. That's always fun. Just be careful because I know somebody who did that and they called the police on him and uh, didn't lead to anything bad because he was... Okay, no, <laughs> it didn't lead to anything bad, but, um, you, know, it, you know, something bad could have happened. Uh, just be careful, you know? Don't be too creepy. Unless you want to get shot six times. I mean, that could happen. <laughs> Angie asks, how's the stream going? I just showed up. It's going decent. It's just there's some wait times between matches. The matches are, you know, 15 to 20 minutes, so... Eh, the wait times aren't too bad, but if you're streaming... They can be a little, uh... A little bad, I guess. But it looks like we found a match. And we just gotta wait to fully connect to it. We'll see. Or at least we loaded up the things we needed to load up for the next match. I don't know. And I do have to say, besides some weird bugs, I am playing this on Ultra settings on my PC. And it's pretty... It's pretty... It seems pretty optimized. It isn't like, you know, I played the Dead Space... Re I mean, the Resident Evil 4 remake was really well optimized. I could play it on Ultra settings, 4K, no issues. With ray tracing on, too. Dead Space remake was not optimized at all to the point where i just got tired of playing it it was just so unpleasant on pc but let's play as the hitchhiker this time but uh 
this game seems pretty optimized. Pretty steady frame rate. Maybe I might want to... Maybe some of the issues I'm encountering during this stream, though, is because I'm on Ultra. Maybe I should lower it to high settings instead, but... Whatever. Okay, looks like I'm the only killer here. All right, well... Okay, looks like only... Wow. Um... Huh. Okay, uh... I guess we'll see. <laughs> All right, maybe I should play as Leatherface again. Because you need to have a Leatherface anyway. Maybe they'll add me to a match and it's just me by myself as Leatherface wandering around. That'd be kind of cool. Actually, I should at least show off the different... The different skins you can have for Leatherface's chainsaw. You know, they're pretty basic. Memento seems like it just has... Okay, it has a Henkel sticker for Kim Henkel, and I guess just some stickers. Hanson, of course, is an homage to Gunner Hanson, the original Leatherface actor. This one's just a rusty chainsaw. It's got to be horrible to be sawed by that. This is just the basic original one with the duct tape covering the, uh, the logo. All right, let's start up. Okay, looks like we got a full lobby finally. Yeah, hell yeah. I am really fucking hoping they make a Halloween game. Even if this... Even if it's another asymmetrical one, I'll take it. Just give me a Halloween game. Give me a, a Halloween game to stream, please. I, I, you know, I, I, I'd appreciate it. Even if it's asymmetrical. I'll take it. Ideally, not asymmetrical, but, you know, I'll take it. If that's how it's gotta be, I'll take it. Um. But I did, I did take a nap earlier today between matches... And I did have a dream where this game was actually single player. And in the in the level I was in, I just I walked through like one door and I looked I explored a room and then I went into another room and Leatherface just instantly killed me. And I didn't save my progress. They they had like a save point there that I just ignored and I was pretty pissed off. Um You know, uh I wish I, I wish it was real, because, you know, I would like a single-player mode. I don't know why I dreamed that. I guess because I was playing the game so much today. I was like, man, if only. Okay, this is a new map I don't think I've seen before. All right, maybe this game has four maps, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. But this is new to me. It seems like it's influenced by the remake. This game does have influences from the sequels and remakes and whatever. And they're just more subtle. Like... For instance, all the maps have these complex tunnel systems underneath. It doesn't make sense why there's a complex tunnel system, but it's an homage to, you know, Texas Battleland from the sequel. There were these complex tunnels, and that made sense for that movie because theme parks have utilidor systems like Disney that have, like, underground tunnels to make it easier to, like, travel around different areas of a theme park. With this... In this game, you know, it's just there, but it, I appreciate it, you know. They're kind of a bitch to explore, though. All right, let me catch up with the Super Chats before I uh, really start this match. Uh, Brady Wells is a Super Chat. I'll try not to end up like poor Ben Tramer. Yes, don't do that. Don't do that. I don't want to see you. What the? Wait, did I? Did I disconnect or? No, I could have sworn I pressed continue. What happened there? What? Did everybody disconnect? What? Just got an instant dance. Jack Rudy has a super chat. Hi, Doc. Which is your favorite character? And do you like the game so far? You're awesome. I'm enjoying the game. I don't know what happened there. Oh, all the victims disconnected. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Okay. That was great. You know, stuff like that can happen. <laughs> um, it's still a multiplayer asymmetrical game. It's still got these issues. Um, King of the Fat has a super chat. Um... Uh, and, well, Eli Elias says, have fun with the game. Eli from Houston, Texas. Thank you, Eli. But King of the Fat is a super chat. Thank you. What if the Aqua Teens and Carl stumbled upon the Sawyer house? Oh, boy. I think the Aqua Teens would actually be safe. It, it, it'd be Carl who'd be in trouble. Because the Aqua Teens are food, but they're not human flesh. So, I don't know. I They haven't really addressed... Uh, then again, 
in uh, Next Generation, they eat pizza. So, um... Maybe if it was the Next Generation Slaughter family, maybe the Aqua Teens would be in trouble, but otherwise, maybe not. I think maybe they'd get along just fine with, um... With the Sawyer family, uh... I think, I think they get along famously. But Carl, oh boy. Carl better watch his back. Krusty Krab says, A Chucky game is needed, and the good guy factory needs to be a map. Wouldn't be surprised if that ended up happening. They're making asymmetrical horror games based on all these franchises. It seems to be an annual thing now. Um, well, maybe not. I don't know. Because we had Evil Dead last year. This game this year. Then again, I don't know. Eh. Maybe closer to Halloween we'll get an announcement of a new asymmetrical horror franchise game. I guess we'll see, you know? Maybe it'll be Child's Play. Maybe it'll be Halloween. We'll see, you know? We'll see. W Stein 79 has a super chat. Thank you. Uh, did you see Leatherface's AEW debut last Wednesday? I didn't see it live, but people showed it to me. And, you know, it's some pretty cool um, advertisement, I gotta say. Okay, I don't want to play as Johnny. I would rather play as the Hitchhiker. Okay, now this is a classic fa- oh, Okay, of course. Sainty had to play as Johnny. He's like, all right, the cool guy, you know? <laughs> the generic cool guy. Oh, now we don't have a Leatherface. Uh, all right, we'll wait and see. Maybe we'll get someone to connect who'll play his Leatherface, hopefully. Somebody has to play his Leatherface. All right, I'll co- Oh, that guy fucking left. He's like, I'm not waiting for a Leatherface. All right, I'll cooperate. Take one for the team, playing his Leatherface again. We got another Johnny, of course. Yeah, Johnny and Sissy aren't my go-tos, but I have noticed a lot of people have been playing as Johnny and Sissy, so I guess they got some player base. Maybe they're just broken, I don't know. I played a match each of them. They didn't seem like all that, um... They didn't seem all that powerful, but, uh... I don't know, I guess, you know... Maybe it's just the thing of... I wanna, you know, if I'm playing as a character, I wanna look at a lady's ass, you know? I wanna check out a... She got a nice lady's ass, you know? All right, okay, okay, I can see that. You're looking at a lady's ass, not Leatherface's ass. Unless he's wearing that pretty, pretty woman mask. All right, Julie. It's always the Julies that don't play, that don't press the <laughs> check mark button. Get with the program, Julie. Let's get this show on the road already. So, I guess a, a major issue with this game is both, a, you know, an aspect of it that's kind of neat. It separates it from other uh, horror asymmetrical games. But it's also, I don't know, it could be an issue in the long run is the victims are very mismatched. They're not... They're not very formidable. They can't do a whole lot to fight back. They're very easy to kill. Um, and I feel like that could lead to people rage quitting and just ruining matches. Uh, that could be an issue because the last match we tried had everybody in the victims just rage quit and disconnect. Um, that could be an issue in the long run. I feel like maybe they should introduce two modes. A, survive, a survival mode where it's, like, just really hardcore if you're a victim. And more of a balanced mode where, you know, if you're playing as a victim, you have a little bit more of a chance to survive. But, uh, you know, I don't know. All right, I gotta destroy this goddamn door. Ah, oh, I ruined the door. Man, the cook is gonna kill me. Okay, uh, she went that way, I guess. Man, this place is so dark. Leatherface needs a flashlight. Where'd you go? All right, I got a beat on you. All right, here we go. 
Come on over here. I want to get a really close up to you. Okay. Yeah, like, you're kind of screwed if you're a victim. You gotta really go at... Like, I I have actually haven't even seen the above ground as a victim. I haven't managed to make it above ground yet. It just feels so one-sided, which is like the movies, but at the same time, it just feels like people are gonna... I don't know. I guess some people are up for the challenge, though, but some people are just gonna be like, okay, this is just a pain. Because admittedly, I'm not great at stealth games. And playing as a victim, it's very hardcore on stealth, like, to survive. It's all about stealth, which also separates it pretty well from other uh, asymmetrical horror games. It's, it has a, a very good stealth system with a lot of depth, but I guess if you're not into stealth, it, okay. Might present some issues for you playing this game. Oh. Damn it. Okay, well, I see two of them. I guess maybe after this match, I'll do a survival, a, a victim mode just to show it off. I'm probably not gonna last very long. Okay, there's gotta be... Man, if only they added a mini map for Leatherface, damn. Just to know where you can go. Okay, where'd you guys go? All right, I see ya. All right, now I gotta wreck my furniture. It took me forever to make this. Damn it. I do wish Leatherface gibbered a lot more, like in the movies. Like, he kind of squeals and shit. He doesn't really... He has more of like a... scarier sort of howling noise. But, you know, he sounds kind of like a pussy in the original movie. I think they were like, okay, we don't want to have him be like, eee, bada, 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 like, talking like a fucking Animal Crossing villager, but that's how he talks, you know? I don't know. Where'd you guys go? Alright, well, okay, well, I got plenty of blood. I need to get out of this damn basement. Actually, I don't think they've managed to get out of the basement yet. So I guess I should stay down here. I see one of them. All right, did they go this way? Maybe they're sneaking off into these tunnel systems. Oh, man. Okay. A shitty thing about playing the survivors, and maybe I'm... I just don't know you can do it, but you can't go prone, so you have to try to squeeze around the, um... Squeeze around the, like, bone sound. The bone noisemakers, which kind of sucks. Because sometimes you can't really squeeze around them. Okay. All right, let's see. Where are my boys? Okay, so I think that's Hitchhiker up there. So they're still up there. Maybe I should... I don't know. I lost track of them. Maybe I should at least just go up and feed Grandpa some blood. If I could figure out how to get up stairs. God. Alright, well, let's see. I don't know how you can memorize the basement map. I don't know. It all just looks the same to me. It's very dark. Okay, alright. This. Okay, so I guess they got upstairs. So I guess they're wandering around. Okay. There we go. Here you go, Grandpa. Eat up. Mm -mm -mm. That blood's good for you. Oh, he gives him a little pet. Oh, that's so sweet. He's so good to his grandpa. Okay, I see. Uh, I see somebody over there. All right, but I can't go through that, and I can't jump. I can't climb or anything like that. Ugh. Can't go through there. Okay, maybe I should. Yeah, let's lower the. Okay, let's lower the quality. The stream is testing. Let's go to high preset. Oh, wait. Apply. All right. That should be... That should be better. Okay. Frame rate should be better now. All right. Wait. Well, who's that? Was that a survivor? No, that was the hitchhiker. Where'd you go? All right. Well, I saw the guy over here. Guess I was hoping hitchhiker would handle it, but I guess not. All right. Well... Fucked up. 
I lost Leland. Greetings to you, Angie, and greetings to you, Brayden. Greetings to everybody joining me tonight for this stream. If you're a victim, you can go down these wells, but I think they damage you. Again, I have not, never been above ground as a victim, so... I don't know the effects, but it looks like it hurts. All right. Guess I gotta try to go around... Oh, wait! No, that was sissy. Fucking sissy. Fucking sissy with her fart clouds. Oh, God. Horrible. Horrible sissy. Yeah, I guess we lost track. It'd be so nice to have a map as the family members, because I have no clue how big this map is, like, where, like, it's so labyrinthine, like, I got no idea what's what, where to go. I don't even know if you have, like, voice chat, how you could really tell someone where to go. I guess maybe you could be like, I'm over, I'm just over here, and they can turn on their family sense to see where you are, I suppose. But, yeah, I don't know. Just got mixed feelings about no map. Oh, wait, okay. I see somebody over there. All right, let's head on down. I'm glad there's no fuel meter when you play as Leatherface. That would really suck. Okay, I see Connie over there. All right, Connie. It still has some of the Friday the 13th game jank to it where... When, he, when you start an animation, your character has to lock into a certain position first. It's not very organic. I I can't see there we go. Savage as fuck. The saw is family, motherfucker. King of the Fat has a super chat. I'm watching Andy the Maniacal Cinephile's review of the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You're doing that while watching the stream. Wow. You're like... Ozymandias and Watchmen just have multiple screens open. All right. Where the hell? There's the chicken noisemaker. If you're a victim and like the chicken noisemaker sees you, you could you could kill the chicken, which is kind of sad. The chicken is just like chicken d didn't do no harm. It's just trapped in a little tiny cage. You shouldn't kill him. All right, let's just break some shit until I can hopefully find somebody. Wow, okay, this is weird. All right. Okay, well, at least let's feed Grandpa. Let's just feed Grandpa already. Grandpa's thirsty. Engineer for the future says, how much would you be willing to pay to play as Chop Top? I mean, ideally, I wouldn't be playing any, paying anything, but, you know, Bill Mosley, I guess, needs to get paid, I suppose, so. I guess I'd pay $5 for a Chop Top skin if it had multiple, if it had multiple different skins, and I didn't have to unlock them, too. So I could play as the Sonny Bono Chop Top, I could just play as standard bald Chop Top. Fucking sissy. Ah, oh, man, I wanted to feed Grandpa. So just give me a bunch of different Chop Tops. I'll pay five bucks for it, okay? Pay five dollars. Man. Okay, oh wait! Okay, I think I saw someone over there. Alright, well... Can't get over there, though. I don't know how to get over there. There's no map. All of these are dead ends. Uh, yeah, okay. Hopefully, maybe there's another way around. Man, Grandpa's pissed. Alright, let's see if I can at least feed Grandpa again. No, Grandpa's full. King of the Fat says, What if Barbie and Ken stumbled onto the Sawyers? I mean... I don't know. I mean... I'm guessing they'd be made out of plastic. Um, so I don't know if they'd... I guess maybe they'd kill them. Then maybe they'd find out they're made out of plastic, I suppose. I don't know. How do I get over there? I see that the lady's over there. Connie or whoever else. But I don't know. I 
guess I gotta go all the way around here. Man. Why would they design this? Like, <laughs> you think somebody would come over here, like somebody from the state who'd be like, okay, you gotta clean up this place. Like, there's just too much debris all over the place. It's a little suspicious. Um... Oh, fuck. Yeah, okay, so this is a door, but I can't go through that door. All right, the hunt is over. Okay, whatever. I got lost along the way, but I killed somebody, though. I did kill somebody. Latar Lataro Asis says, Ken would teach Leatherface to value himself, and they would escape with him. Oh, that's so sweet. That'd be so nice. Oh, man. Sweet. Oh, if only. All right. I'm going to be right back. But I'll get into the next match first. Uh, Nicole L says, My cat responds when you say sissy, her name. Oh, that's so sweet. Hopefully your cat doesn't shoot toxic vapors from her mouth though <laughs> all right well i'm gonna I guess i'll go on the be right back screen and i'll be right back as matthew lillard said in the original scream oh man we're gonna definitely get a scream asymmetrical horror game next probably this we'll see okay i'll be right back Went to the wrong screen there, but you know, we didn't miss anything. Still waiting to find a match. All right. Gavin says, are Doc and Ghoul... Okay, I don't want to play as Leatherface again. This time, let's... Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, let's try to play as Sissy then. Okay. But somebody has to play as Leatherface. I don't want to have to play as Leatherface again, though. Ah, uh, hopefully one of these guys will play as Leatherface. Please, Please, one of you guys plays Leatherface. Okay, sweet. Thank God I get to play as a different character. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, you know, I, I I guess I assumed Leatherface would be the most popular character to play as, but I guess that aspect where you somebody has to play as him kind of, I don't know, even the playing field, I suppose, for the other characters, because you're like, well, I don't want to have to always play as this guy. And I guess some people are like, this is the most popular character. I want to play as, you know, I want to, I don't, I want to be like a little more of a hipster and play as like fucking Johnny or something. <laughs> I want to be like different, I guess. So, you know, I guess, you know, I guess my expectation where it'd be like, okay, everybody's fucking playing as Leatherface. It didn't come to fruition, I suppose. Covenant Slayer says, It's still interesting that the only other Texas Chainsaw game was the one made for the Atari 2600. I guess that, you know, I mean... But, you know, a, a lot of horror franchises don't get video game adaptations generally. Anyway, um, the Saw movies, when they were big, got a couple games. And, you know, all these franchises have gotten, like, some kind of some kind of rep representation in Dead by Daylight, eventually. Like, just, you know, a little DLC. But, yeah, you know, I mean, there aren't really a lot of 
horror movie franchise games. You know, there's only one official Halloween game to date, the Atari one, of course. He does have the Dead by Daylight DLC, and I guess also the Call of Duty Ghost DLC. You know, Leatherface also got a Call of Duty DLC um, for some reason. It's terrible. Didn't play those. Um, I guess maybe... <laughs> I guess maybe if I had more disposable income when the, when that shit came out, maybe I would have gotten those Call of Duties just to showcase that shit, I guess. But I know, whatever. But, yeah, you know. So, Halloween got the one game. Texas Chainsaw now has two games. Friday the 13th has two games. The NES one and, of course, the recent one by the same publisher, Gun Media. Um... Nightmare on Elm Street has one... Well, it has two games, technically. It has the NES one, and it has... It has, I think, the PC... Like, a totally different PC game. PC, I think it was for Amiga. Some, like, random, obscure computer platform from the 80s. Um, so th that has two games, but they're very old. They're both very old. There hasn't been a recent... Freddy video game. He has had Mortal Kombat DLCs. He did get a Dead by Daylight DLC. But not quite as good as, you know, a new game. Not quite as good, especially since they're based on the Jackie Earl Haley version. Alright. Now I'm playing as Baby Firefly. Hell yeah. It's basically just fucking Sherry Moon Zombie. You know, the actress who plays Sissy in this game is did play Deborah in the Halloween remake, so this game has plenty of Rob Zombie representation. It also has Scout Taylor Compton playing one of the victims. I don't know which one, though. I don't know. Maybe Connie, maybe... I don't... I know the name... I know Connie's name. I know... I know Connie's name. I know Sonny's name. I know... Leland's name, but I don't know any of the other names. But uh, I guess I'll showcase her special ability. I guess first I want to find a staircase downstairs. Wow! Leatherface already got some blood. Hell yeah. Okay, well, all right. So let's use her ability, her Shrek burping power. Hell yeah. All right. Good luck. Good luck to whoever fucking, ever fucking has to walk through that nasty, that nasty fucking smell. Damn. Why do I get the feeling that was somebody's fucking fetish? Because it's like kind of, I don't know, there's something a little fetishy about Sissy. Like, she's barefoot, and she has like a sort of burping power? I don't know. It's a little iffy. It's a little sus. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Okay, wait. Somebody... No, wait. Oops! Get over here, Connie! Wait, why did... I... I didn't close the door. Oh, she stunned me and I guess closed the door. Alright. Maybe she closed the door in my face and I got hurt. But the cool thing about Sissy is she can go through tight corridors. Alright, so she went down uh, into the well. I can't do that, though. That's one thing I definitely can't do. So now I gotta go back downstairs and hopefully track down. But first, let's feed Grandpa. He's. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No. Don't feed. Ah. Oh, I'm locked into the animation. Oh, well. You know, you got animation locks, just like any of these other. Point and. No. Point and click. Any of these other asymmetrical horror games, you know? Once you start something, you're stuck. You're stuck doing it. All right. Looks like Leatherface has someone cornered. I get no, no, Leatherface. You no, you stay over there. No, Leather. Oh, okay. All right. Well. Oh well. Come on, sissy. Come on. You can do this. You can kill this lady. Come on. I want to see a cool death animation. Damn it. Oh great. And I blocked the door for Leatherface too. Guess what? I can go through here too. It's in use. Like only one person at a time. You know. You got to be. You know, you gotta be, you gotta be kind, you know? You gotta be kind. She sounded like she died, but I guess not. Oh, man. 
I, I gotta hand it to the victims, though. They are pretty durable. Oh, two for one. Hell yeah. Cook, you're blocking the good view. It's so dumb. Some of the other family players will try to, like, attack too when you're already in the death animation. Like, you can't do anything. I, I killed him. Just, just let it play out. Don't ruin the animation. Come on. Okay. All right. All right, let's see where everybody is. Um, okay, looks like the cook's up there. It looks like Leatherface. Okay, but it... Somebody else was down here, though. All right, let's replenish my powder. I have two other powders. Um, but, you know, it never hurts to have more powder. I don't know if that's a euphemism for cocaine, but maybe it is. All right, let's see if I can get up... Get upstairs from here. Probably not. Yeah, dead end. Unless there's a ladder. No, wait. Oh, no. Okay, not a dead end. All right, sweet. Leads to the shed, I think. All right, we killed somebody else. All right, I gotta go feed Grandpa now. And I think I saw someone over there. No, that's Grandpa. Oh, well. Jay says, I'm a huge fan of the Jason series. Me too. I'm a big fan of his work. Well, you know... Not all of it is good, but have a good time with most of the Paramount ones, at least, you know? All right. Well, Leatherface is chasing that one person. I don't... Oh, shit. Okay, okay, that was just the cook. All right. Looks like it's under control. Hopefully, this helps a little bit. See if I can even the playing field. Now, the cook, he's an old guy. He's not very fast, and he has very low stamina. So, I'll probably end up outrunning him. But he can hear pretty well. Oh, wait. Okay, looks like they got it handled. All right, sweet. The cook, why are you blocking the good stuff? Come on, cook. All right, well. Looks like we won. Hell yeah. Check out that dance. Man, I wish this section when he dances was like a rhythm game, like Dance Dance Re Revolution or something, where you can get button prompts. Or you can be like, A, B... X, Y, like, just, like, you have to hit the button prompts or he'll, like, trip over or something. He'll mess up. And it can add to your score at the end. That'd be great. I'd appreciate it. All right. Well, that was pretty good. Um, yeah, looks like we killed everybody. Good. No one, no one escaped, which is honestly very unlikely for anybody to escape. Now, I guess I'll try out playing as a victim. Uh, not my favorite, but, uh... It'll probably be very short, though. It'll probably be very, very short. We'll see, though. We'll see. I'll try my best to make sure Sonny lives as long as possible. Okay, well, it looks like I'm Connie, but I want to play as Sonny. Okay, well, it looks like Sonny's already taken. Um, guess I'll... Uh, guess I'll play as... No, Julie's taken. Wait, what... Okay, I'm Anna then. I'm Anna or Anna. Eh, I think it's Anna. No, not Anna. No, I think it's Anna. Okay. Well, let's... I haven't played as Anna, so let's see if I can do anything with her loadout. Okay, maybe I want to... Yeah, well, no, yeah, let's stick to that. I have an idea of where I need to go. All right, Connie. Click the check mark button already. Subscribe to Twitter Blue. Come on. Pay the pay the ten dollars or five hundred dollars if you're an organization and press your check mark already so we can get this get this done. Here here we go. Finally, someone everybody's cooperating this time. Great. We're all on the same page. Keon says, Will you be reviewing this? I will indeed be reviewing this. I've already have a ton of a ton of... I've already recorded all of my uh, matches so far. I got this, of course. I got... I did some tests, and I also just, you know, recorded my general matchmakings today. So I got plenty of material to work with. And the great thing about this game compared to the Evil Dead game is that it's very straightforward, too. So I don't really have to break down tons of gameplay mechanics in a video. So the video will probably be pretty simple to right like there's not a lot of shit to talk about it's pretty it's pretty you know pretty basic so hopefully get a video out of the way 
pretty fast. I'll probably start work on it tomorrow. Alright, but yeah, I will be reviewing it. It'll be up... It'll be up uh, next week. If I got this game early... Probably would have... Probably would have prioritized a review, but... Just couldn't get an early copy, you know? I got an early copy of the Evil Dead game, though. They believed in me. This developer doesn't, though. They don't trust me. Stay calm, Anna. You can do this. All right, Anna. You can survive this, for sure. I believe in you, Anna. So yeah, it is Anna. It's not Anna. I want to collect some blood, even though I'm not a family member. Ah, oh, man. All right. Okay, so here's an exit. But I also need to try to... Okay, let's find an unlock tool. So the key thing is you need to tap the X button to interact with certain things that will help you. The issue is if, if you tap it too much, too rapidly, you'll make noise. And Leatherface and his family will uh, definitely know you're down here. Definitely find you. Especially Grandpa, he'll really fuck things up for you. So, key thing is... Yeah, somebody made somebody made a lot of noise, and Grandpa's now awake, and now he's sensing us. And that's not good. I wish I could go prone so I could go under those no noisemakers. Oh, shit, I forgot, though. When, when you... Oh, yeah, I forgot. When Grandpa starts to sense, you have to stay completely still, or he will give you away. Ah, I forgot about that thing. I need to remember that. If this game had a decent tutorial you could actually play, probably would have remembered that, but no... All right, hopefully I got the right tool to get through this door, though. Probably not, though. Use fuse box to open. I have no clue where that is. Maybe in the other... Maybe over there? I don't know. Guess we'll find out. That looks like a fuse box, but it's not the fuse box, so... All right, well... All right, Connie. Um... Let's see. I'm gonna stick around with Connie. I'll stick around with Connie. At least, hopefully, she's more competent at this game. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. I gotta heal myself. So, you have to heal yourself, because you're constantly bleeding out. So, I better heal myself right now. Well, I'll heal myself a little later. I got a tool, in case I need to... Please don't let that thing... So, I can heal Connie myself, but I don't want to. Okay, I finally got out of the basement. This is my first time actually getting out of the basement as a survivor. Never happened before. I'm making history right now. I think this is antiseptic. Connie, you're making a lot of noise. Connie, oh. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Oh, fuck. Should have stayed still. Okay, I'm gonna stick around with Connie. Oh, okay, we got Connie, we got Leland. Okay, things are looking good. I know they're still here. I guess I guess I'll heal Connie. Okay, well I wanted to heal you, Connie, but I can't get through. Alright, well, so much for that. Just imagine having somebody like you're trying to survive this scenario, but like you gotta have a guy like me constantly narrating everything that's happening. Oh man, I, you know, I wanted to help you, but you know I all right, we're making progress. I'm gonna heal you, Connie. You will at least hopefully... Okay. Oh, shit! Oh, sissy! Sissy! Now I gotta heal myself. She really snuck up on us. All right, sweet. Now I'm taken care of, at least. Sorry, Connie. I think Connie died. I wasn't paying attention, but maybe Connie died. All right, well, sucks to be Connie. Okay, let's see if we can open this up. I don't know what that does. I don't know if I want to go back down there, Leland. At the same time, I don't want to be stuck up here by myself. But uh, I'll take my chances up here. Oh, fuck. All right. I haven't done this before. Oh, shit. This is new to me. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, no, not Johnny. Ah, oh, shit, Johnny. Ah, oh, damn it. 
really got me. Oh, well. Man, it sucks to be Ana right now. Yeah, that's the first time I ever encountered a, the lockpicking in this game. And the game does not have a playable tutorial, so when you encounter a new thing like that, you're pretty much on your own. Like, you, hopefully you figure it out, especially in a situation like that. I feel like they were kind of lazy. Like, the Evil Dead game had a playable tutorial that explained, like, let you play all these things. Like, let you play all the gameplay mechanics ahead of time so you knew what you were doing. But this game, like, they couldn't even do that bare minimum. Like, I don't know. That's an issue I have with this game. Like, I really appreciate playable tutorials. Just makes it so, like, I feel like I'm prepared. Uh, but oh well. All right, well... I guess I'll exit this match. Anna did not survive. The only tutorial this game has is a, um... Ah, uh, what is it? I guess I'll do Survivor again. The only tutorial this game has is the video tutorials. You can watch little videos that, like, narrate what you're supposed to do, but they're so, they're so long and, like, overly detailed. Like, I, I could only watch so many. They're just so boring. If they made a playable tutorial, it'd be so much better. Man. Ugh. Oh, well. Guess I'll take my chances with uh, Leland. And actually, I got uh, some cosmetics for Leland. Um, I got different shirts for him. Um, I like this one. It kind of has a Joe Bob Briggs sort of look to it. They need to add Joe Bob Briggs as, like, a DLC. I'm sure he'd be up for it. Be totally into it. Okay, uh, been working out. Your strength has increased by three. You know, I don't know what that means, but, uh, I'll take it, you know? I don't know what, uh, you know, number stats have to do with anything, but, you know, I'll take it. Alright. I guess I'm ready to go. I didn't really change my loadout, though. Uh, Angie Marquez, Angie Marquez asks, is there anything in this game from the newest Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie that has a bunch of modern stuff and Leatherface was 60? Um, no, this is just exclusively the original movie. That's the only place where any, any material is directly drawn from. There's some subtle references to the sequels here and there, like... Well, not references, subtle inspirations. Like, you have these uh, complex tunnel systems, like Texas Battleland in the second movie. But, you know, it's not, a, of course, not Texas Battleland. They can easily make a Texas Battleland map. Though, since they do have, like, a tunnel mechanic in the game, but they don't have stuff like that. They don't have anything from the sequels, anything from the reboots, anything from the remake. Nothing like that. N nothing from the requel. It's just the original movie. For good... For good and bad. You know, just because... The bad of it is they don't have a ton of content to really keep you interested, honestly. They just have... Just stuff from the original movie. Hopefully that changes. But, uh, I guess we'll see. I haven't really seen any, like... Roadmap from the developers saying what they have planned down the road. For all I know, this is the game. This is all they have. This is all that's going to be in the game. <laughs> Hopefully not. But I guess we'll see. All right, let's see if Leland um, can get out of this little predicament. Sweet. I don't know how that gets you down. It seems like he's just bashing at his legs, but all right, okay. He got down. Oh what are they doing to us? I don't know, Leyland. I don't know what they're doing to you. Oh, what's this? Maybe this leads somewhere. Hopefully it does. Probably not, though. Okay, I shouldn't do that. I should be making noise. Gotta be conspicuous. Okay, so you can, like, retrieve these bone scraps that you can use as temporary defense mechanisms, like the little pocket knives from the Friday the 13th game, but they take a long time to get. It's a little bit of a bummer, like, how tough it is to be a victim. I don't know why he can't just pick, pick up a bone scrap. I don't know why he has to, like... 
I guess they're really jammed together or something. I don't know. All right. There's got to be something in this toolbox. Yeah, you know, it's admittedly not that fun to play as a victim. But oh well. Gotta avoid making noise, you know? I think this will be my last victim match, at least for a while tonight. Gonna definitely be playing as a family member again. <laughs> After this. I feel like I've shown off enough of this shit. Hey, it's Sunny. All right, can I... Okay, I hear Leatherface in the distance. Sunny. Yeah. So, you know you're in the line of sight of a killer if the screen starts to turn orange and red and yellow and shit. Okay, I want to stay with Sonny. And let's just stick by him. Let's not get too separated, because, you know, Keep it whoever's fastest will ultimately survive. Ah! Oh, now, that's the first time I've ever seen this. So, yeah, the family can wake up Grandpa, I guess, if they feed him enough. Which is not great. Okay, so I have to keep still. Or he'll... Grandpa will, like, rat rat me out. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Well, that wasn't great. All right. Let's uh, see where this goes, I guess. Covenant Slayer says, The game definitely looks like they took a lot from Dead by Daylight for this game. I don't really see what they... I mean, it's like the Friday the 13th game, which came out around that time. You know, it's... Okay, um, what do I want to swap out? I guess I'll... I guess I'll swap out the tool. I don't know. Still a chance. Alright, okay, I can squeeze in through there. Does this go anywhere, or is this where I was just at? This looks promising. Okay, well, he said it looks promising, so maybe... Maybe I'm on the right track. Ah, another bone scrap. Okay, I think this is where I came from. Damn it, where am I going? Dash Deception says, who is the girl supposed to be? Now, they couldn't license the rights to any of the sequels, so they came up with two original family members, Johnny and Sissy. And they really stick out. They <laughs> don't feel like they belong with the rest of the family that was actually in the movie. Um... They were created by Kim Hankel, who gave us both half, I guess, you know, he co-wrote the original movie and gave us Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation. So, he's not exactly, he's got mixed credibility, but he created Sissy and Johnny for this game. They needed a couple extra characters and they wanted to be authentic, so they went with the only surviving creator. Um, okay, I gotta keep still now, damn it. So I can, you know, I, I can appreciate them, like, going to Kim Hankel for some inspiration, but I don't know, Johnny and Sissy, I feel like they could have been a little bit more creative. But, oh, oh wait, okay, I got, no, wait, no, this needs a fucking fuse box. I don't know where the fuse box is, though. Damn it. There's a fuse box. That's not the one, though. I forget. Ugh. All right. Hopefully I'll find a door around here somewhere. Damn it. Oh, fuck. Grandpa's gonna rat me out. Where is everybody? Okay, I kind of wonder if that voice prompt means everybody else is dead and I'm the only one who's still alive. I wonder. Does this go anywhere? Please tell me this goes upstairs. I think this is the longest I've survived, but I'm still in the fucking basement. You don't want to be in the basement. Oh, and I'm stuck in the animation, so now they see me. Oh, great. Okay, let's just move anyway. Where the... Okay, so they poison the well. Like the expression goes. There's got to be a door. Okay, here's the door. All right. Leads to the shed. Hopefully I can sneak around back. 
All right, I'm gonna heal myself, I guess. There we go, all right. Jake S says, it'd be cool if they added Alexandra Daddario as a killer for a DLC in the future. Yeah, I... be uh, pretty cool, you know? Her <laughs> be so great to, oh shit, Grandpa's right there. Okay, I'm gonna fuck you up, Grandpa. I'm gonna fuck you up. How do you do that? Do I, oh, I can't even, I guess I need a bone scrap. So he just rat ratted me out. I don't know why I can't just snap Grandpa's neck. I don't know what's stopping me from doing that. All right. Hopefully this leads somewhere. Wonder if all the killers just disconnected and it's just me. Overload. I need to find the fucking valve. I think I think that's the valve. I think I just take that valve. All right, let's just hide. I hear Leatherface around. Er. I hear him. I see Hitchhiker. Okay, all right. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, see you later. Er. Oh, fucking Leatherface. Damn it. Okay, I at least want to find out if I can take that valve, because I know I'm screwed. Okay, yeah, that's the valve. Okay, but I need to go into an animation to pick it up. I guess I learned something. Oh, well. I can't... He's dead. Yeah, he's very still now. Grandpa's not going to be able to detect him at this point. <laughs> All right. Okay, now let's go back to playing as the family. Um... Oh, but that's cool. Uh, this is the first time I've seen the pretty lady skin for Leatherface. Awesome. Look at him dance. Now, this is actually more accurate. We've been seeing the, um, the butcher Leatherface dancing so far, but the one that dances is the pretty lady. Okay, so enough of playing as, uh, victims. Been a victim long enough. Actually, let's see if I can customize anybody now. Let's see. Ah, cosmetic. No, I haven't unlocked that yet. Um, maybe the cook I unlocked something? Nope. Cook doesn't have any skins. They couldn't come up with anything for the cook to wear. Same thing for Hitchhiker. Same thing for Johnny. Wow, okay, well. All right, um, I guess I'll try out Johnny next. I haven't played as Johnny yet. Johnny, ah, oh, fucking awesome. Awesome character. Apparently Johnny... According to Kim Hankel, Johnny is based on Ted Bundy, which, you know, is very original. He's like, he, his, like, motivation was like, if you look at these serial killers, a lot of them are, like, handsome, charismatic guys, and I wanted to put that in the game. And it's like, all right, okay. Awesome, you know? Peachy as Peach says, Leland can stun the family. That's his ability. Okay, all right. I guess I, uh, I guess I need to remember. I for, I always forget about those damn abilities. Definitely, uh, next victim match. Need to show off the abilities more. I, I definitely need to do a little bit better with the abilities. <laughs> Shit, maybe that'll get me keep me alive at least a little a little longer. Mario F says only Leatherface gets different skins. Oh well. That's a, you know, that's a bit of a bummer, but okay. You know, they could at least, like, put, you know, the cook in a cowboy hat, you know. Just give him something. Um. Angie says, what do you think is the most batshit crazy Texas Chainsaw movie? Texas Chainsaw 2 or 3? Next Generation, of course. It's like no competition. Oh, I guess if, if between the two... Yeah, the second movie is crazy, yeah. But just in general, Next Generation is as batshit crazy as you can get. It's the most insane horror sequel imaginable, I think. Um, and there were some crazy ones in the 90s to compete with it. Okay, I don't want to play a sissy again, necessarily. Let's see if I can get Johnny. All right, I got Johnny. Sleeve, sleeveless shirt motherfucker. All right. Owen McGrath has a super chat. Thank you. Uh, Wolfula, what other Texas Chainsaw characters would you want for the game besides Chop Top and Sheriff Hoyt? Let me think about that. Um, well, you know, I would like to see them work in 
the victims from the original movie. Um, maybe it'd be kind of cool to just have have it so you can reskin Grandpa to being Franklin. We're all just feeding Franklin. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, besides that, let me think. I mean, I guess there's Tex. There aren't like a lot of interesting. Oh, well, okay. No, no, no. Matthew McConaughey. Okay, yeah. I definitely want Matthew McConaughey. I want someone like I don't know if they could possibly make that happen. If they. It seems unlikely. It seems like the most unlikely thing for them to license the rights to Matthew McConaughey for a video game because the, he didn't write that in his contract. There were no video game likeness rights when he drafted the contract, so they would have to go to Matthew McConaughey directly. They would have to license both the rights to the fourth movie and Matthew McConaughey's appearance. Uh, but maybe they could just change his face, like what Dead by Daylight does with, like, Laurie Strode and shit. Just do a cop-out. Well, I guess nobody wanted to play as Sonny, so Sonny is dead. Man, look at Johnny. He's so fucking cool with his slick back hair and his sleeveless shirt. Oh, man, he's awesome. Fucking cool Johnny. Now, Johnny can track people's footprints... But I'm nowhere near a victim yet, so I there's no reason to show it. It'd be a waste. But yeah, he just has like that little knife. Kind of similar to the Hitchhiker's little uh, switchblade knife. Um, I don't know. He was like... Him and Sissy... They were... Seeing them for the first time just made things really iffy. Especially hearing before they showed the these new killers... Hearing they were going to make new killers, like, I was just like, I don't know about that. I don't know. Okay, so, I don't want to necessarily unlock the door. I guess I should just look for blood for now, because I don't want to unlock the door. I mean, I guess I can unlock the door, and, uh, then lock it again, but, uh, alright, I guess I'll do that. I don't see any blood around here. Oh, look at that. Okay, here's the... Oh, man. Okay, so here's the, um... Here's the swing, of course. I never got to see Leatherface ride the swing, the bench swing here. It was a missed opportunity. Hopefully someday we'll finally get to see Leatherface swinging. Someday. Okay, so it looks like Sissy opened the door anyway, so I don't... It's not even a problem, but let's lock it again. Want to make it at least somewhat difficult for the survivors to get out of here. All right. Let's also find out where Grandpa is, because it seems like he's always in, like, a different spot. Okay, he's here. Maybe just in a different spot for each map. Check out that lamp. Man, awesome. Man, I want a skeleton lamp. Bucket empty. Oh, Sissy got to the bucket first. All right, well, let's see where this leads. Okay, oh, okay, this is the porch. Okay, here's some blood. Let's see if I can feed Grandpa still. Get an early start on the, um... On the victims. All right, let's see. Where are you, Grandpa? You're, you're around here somewhere. Um, were you right over here? God, it all looks... Uh, man... He's around here somewhere. He's, he's not over here. There's Sissy. Um, I'm, like, really fucking up Sissy right now. She's like... Okay, wait. I could have sworn he was over here. Oh, wait, no. I guess he was back this way. Yeah, he was more back this way. Yeah, oh, here he is. Okay. Yeah, it, all, it looks all very similar. It all blends together. It feels like, I don't know, it kind of feels like... They took what they had with the first movie's house and they just kind of mirrored it where both sides of the house look pretty much the same like they have the same layout basically so they only had so much to work with as far as reference material but you know what's here is really faithfully recreated okay all right let's see if i can uh, get a peek at any of these victims um there's one okay they're still down there all right let's head down there already now the thing is if you're not leatherface you can't go down in the basement early for some arbitrary reason 
I guess to make it a little harder. I mean, I guess to make it a little easier for the victims where they don't have to worry about three killers down in the basement. They'd never stand a chance. Okay, there's Leatherface. Let's, let's still follow him. See if we can corner somebody. Leatherface, it's me. Your brother, Johnny. Your canonical brother, Johnny. Maybe they're cousins. It's your cousin, Johnny. Johnny Slaughter. You know that new chainsaw sound you've been looking for? Listen to this. Oh, shit. Okay. Why did, why did I get animation stun locked right there? What happened? Oh, yes. Johnny, for some reason, can't go through. Tight corners. Damn it. Sissy can. I don't know what's stopping Johnny. I guess he's just like, I ain't doing that shit. That ain't happening. He can go through. Okay, maybe he can go through. No, he can just close him. That's all. I guess useful, but not what I want. Where'd you go? Where'd, where'd Anna go? Okay, so now I know all the names. There's Connie, there's Anna, there's Leland, there's Sonny, and then there's Julie. And I think Julie is basically just supposed to be the survivor girl kind of character. Oh, that's Sissy. And then there's Sissy and Johnny and Cook and Hitchhiker and Leatherface. We're all just one big happy family. Okay, actually, oh shit, okay. This is a perfect time to show off the, um... All right, so he can investigate the footprints and then find them like this is Scooby-Doo and just see a bunch of cartoon footprints that lead him. Okay, so apparently I found the footprints, but I don't see them. I don't see any footprints. Okay, apparently someone's nearby, but I can't go over there. Yeah, I don't see a trail at all of footprints. Damn it. So... I guess they, I guess she went down the well. So I guess it doesn't really matter. All right, well, thank you for the uh, super chat, autistic cat. They should add Franklin from the first movie as a survivor. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I feel like it'd be easier to play as Franklin at this point. How does that feel? <laughs> oh man, why did I get stun locked? Oh man, something happened there. Okay, I'm gonna go around. Maybe I can corner her. Assuming there's no barricades this way. It looks like there are barricades. Wow. Fuck. Yeah, okay. I can't go over there, actually, from here. Damn. Oh, well. I'm, I'm, I got my fingers crossed for Franklin. They need to add Franklin somewhere. We need to have some Paul Partain up in this bitch. Okay, so she went down there. Okay, no. She's just, like, booby tra trapping this place. Let's see if I can track Anna. And thank you for the super chat, Owen McGrath. Um, okay, wait. Oh, no, those are flowers. Oh, wait. Okay, here's here's some footprints. Owen McGrath, thank you for the super chat. Wolfie, the thoughts on Texas Chainsaw 3? I like it. It's okay. Um, it's not great or anything, but it's a competent sequel. Especially if you watch the unrated version. Um, but, you know, it it is kind of Hollywoody. Um... Like, it, where it has, like, focus testing behind it. Like, New Line wasn't necessarily a good fit for the Texas Chainsaw franchise. Um, but uh, it's overall a really good... Well, not a really good... It's a it's a pretty good movie. Pretty good sequel. I do remember Joe Br Bob Briggs really hated it at the time, but I feel like after all the terrible sequels since... Then again, Joe Bob Briggs liked um, Next Generation, so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he likes all the sequels but three. He definitely likes two because he shot a cameo for it that got cut out. Maybe he doesn't like two because they cut out his cameo, though. Maybe. I don't know. Never really heard him talk about any of the sequels but three and four, so I don't know. So, usually when I do the investigate for the footprints thing, like... It gives me a trail to work with, but this time around, not really. Oh, well. Uh, no one... Noah says, How can you possibly not get the rights to Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 when canon films exist? Just because canon doesn't exist anymore, that doesn't mean... 
Oh, wait, there's Leland. That doesn't mean the rights are just up for grabs. Like, ah, oh, fucking Leland. You know, the rights apparently for the second movie belong to... Belong to Sony, according to Bill Mosley, at least. All right, it looks like one of my allies killed a victim. All right, sweet. So I think there's only one guy left, and it's Leland down in the basement. And, you know, maybe they could have paid some money to license the rights to some of the other movies, but maybe they were like... It would cut into our budget for the actual game. Like, we'd have to, like, cut some more corners. And it feels like some corners have already been cut with the game anyway. So they probably would have to cut down even more corners. With the budget being eaten into, um by licensing other things besides the first movie. I don't know. I don't really know what kind of budget they had to work with with this game, but based on the limited amount of content in the game, it seemed like um, they had to be very careful with what they spent their money on. All right. Well, Grandpa's hungry again. I guess I might as well go upstairs. If I can find the stairs... Oh, there you are, Leland. Okay, maybe I don't need to find the stairs. Oh, fucking Leland. <laughs> I don't know what that thing Johnny does is supposed to... Okay, he must have gone... He's around here somewhere. Leland! Leland! Where'd you go? Okay, let's see if I can track him. Nope. I don't see uh, anything to investigate. Um, that's unfortunate. He's around here somewhere. I saw him. Stabbed him a little bit. Oh, wait. Okay, I heard him. I heard something. Uh, can't go that way. Can't go that way. I can go this way, though. Maybe that'll draw him out. This will be over by now. I go okay, I... I guess if you... If you use your weapon a little too much, they'll kind of stop in their tracks for some reason. I don't know. Because I just stabbed the air, and he just, like, stopped completely. Okay, I hear you, Leland. I hear you. I don't see you. Are you hiding down here? I hear somebody. I hear the pitter-patter of... Tiny Leland feet. Where are you, Leland? Show yourself already. Okay, I'll get some more blood for Grandpa. Give him a little midnight snack. All right, Leland. I'm not going to give up on you. I know you're around here somewhere. No, I can't go that way. Give me a damn map already. Nope. Okay. Okay, I hear Sissy. Hey, Sissy, how you doing? What do we name the sister of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre family? Oh, I know. Let's name her Sissy. Because she's the sister. Yeah. It's either that or it's a Sissy Spacek. Homage, for some reason. Okay, uh... Oh, there you are, Leland. How you doing? Oh, fucking Leland always knocking me over. Damn. Okay, well, I saw where you went. I don't know if I can reach you from here. Maybe I can. Leland is really formidable. Hopefully he went this way, because I'm going this way. Okay, I see you, Leland. Get over here, Leland. Come on, Leland. I see... There we go, and I don't get to see it, of course. Okay, I get to see a little bit of it. All right, awesome. And that's the last guy, too. I won the match for everybody. Hell yeah. You know, Johnny, you're okay after all. You're a pretty cool guy. You know, Johnny, I think maybe I'll just be a Johnny main now, I think. I'll be a, you know, I guess I'll just stick to Johnny from now on. Johnny's good. He's a good character. I, I take back everything I've said. Johnny's awesome. He's cool.
Angie says, do you still have Shaggy Where Are You on your MP3 player? Um, I, I got like one of those streaming subscription things. Those music services and they don't have the rights to that. Um, I definitely need to just add it back on my phone though. Oh wait, I guess maybe I could maybe at least buy the MP3 of it though. Uh, Gregory says, you the MVP, Doc. No, you are, Gregory. All of you are the most valuable players. I'm the second most valuable player behind all of you. But, uh, still very valuable, though. You know, I'm, I'm super valuable. But all of you, you're the real MVPs. <laughs> all right, well, we'll be waiting a little bit for another match, so... I'll be right back. Another hour has passed. Get a little break. Then I'll be right back in less than a minute. I'll be right back! All right, I'm back. Okay, let's click on this. There we go. All right, sweet. Let's fix my guy, my cartoon guy. There we go. All right, sweet. Okay, let me, uh, yeah, all right. Okay, yeah, I can still see you guys. All right, sweet. Now, let's change the character. I just played as Johnny. I'll play as Sissy. Well, who's, who's, what characters? Okay, I'll play as the Hitchhiker. Keep it, keep it pure. Let's begin. I could be customizing my loadout, I guess. Especially since nobody else is really pressing the check marks. I guess I'll uh, see what I can do with my loadout. Um, endurance. After recovering from being stunned, you're... Okay, uh, let's see. What do I want to... Yeah, okay. Let's replace that. Blood harvesting. Okay, now I want to keep that. Uh, I don't have any grandpa powers. I don't know how you get those. Actually, let me see what it says. The grandpa ability slot is currently empty. Select this slot to open the browser and choose an available... I don't have any of these grandpa abilities. I don't know how you get them. Maybe you unlock them with the skill tree. Whatever, though. All right, let's get this show on the road, though. All right, let's see. Uh, let's check the uh, comments. Let's see, uh... Christopher Snyder says, I'm the most valuable primate. Oh, man, I fucking love that movie. Oh, fuck. I didn't know monkeys could play hockey until I watched that film. It changed my whole perspective on primates in general. You would think maybe Planet of the Apes, especially the recent ones, would do that, but now it was, it was most valuable primate. The movie was fucking sick. But we need to be able to control the apes, because if we don't, they'll rise up. They'll become so formidable at hockey, they'll eventually kick all of our asses. All right. Um, Owen McGrath says, Thoughts on recent Texas chainsaws like Netflix and 3D getting rid of the family characters and just focusing on other faces, the sole villain? I've talked about this, you know, quite a bit. But yeah, you know, the Saw is family, and the recent ones have really de-emphasized the family aspect of the franchise. Leatherface is kind of more of a mascot for the franchise. The The real villains are the family members as a whole, so you need that kind of collaborative aspect. You need to have it be like a, um, what's it called? Uh, 
to make it a uh, an ensemble cast kind of thing, where you have a few family members, and they're all they all got their own like quirks and things that separate them, and you know really propels things forward. Where it isn't just like a uh, slasher movie, where it isn't just mindlessly Leatherface just fucking slashing people with chainsaws. Some people, you know. It has, like, discouraged me as a fan of this franchise. Some people are just like, I just want it to be Leatherface being Jason and just killing people mindlessly. But I'm not into that. I want... I want a whole family of characters because you get some cool stuff with that. And you also still get Leatherface, like, slashing people with chainsaws, you know? Just because you have other family members doesn't mean you can't still have Leatherface doing his thing. Doing his thing, cuz. He can still do his thing, cuz. Alright, let's get some blood. Hell yeah, I don't know where... I don't know where he's putting the blood, but uh, I'd rather not... I'd rather not think about it. So I can unlock that door, but... Eh, Alright, let's just unlock the door. We'll, we'll just see them try to get over here. Not likely. Well, I guess I can lock these doors back up. Yeah, I'll lock the doors up. Yeah, you know, it's... It's the right thing to do. We're no longer living in that era where you could just... Keep your doors unlocked. Alright, well, okay, here's some blood. Alright, let's fill up my blood vials and... Wake up Grandpa. Okay, another blood vial. That's pretty useful. Getting to at least know where the blood vials are. Well, not blood vials. At least you'll get to know where the blood buckets are. All right. This is just like the movie. You know? This is just like the movie. Okay, wait. He can... So, Hitchhiker can slip through these narrow corridors, thankfully. Okay. All right. I, I'm honestly surprised the cook would give the Hitchhiker a set of keys. I'm surprised. I guess, you know... You know, you gotta give your family, you know, a set of keys. Even when they're like this. All right, Grandpa, here's your medicine. Drink up, Grandpa. Drink up. Give him a little head pat, too, Hitchhiker. Aw, oh, he doesn't do the head pat. Damn it. You gotta tell Grandpa he's been a good boy. All right, well, okay. I know where the valve is, I guess, for later. Oh, and I guess, well... It's a bit of a process, if you want to escape as a victim. You know, Sally made it look super easy. It's kind of funny, this is supposed to be a prequel to the original film. And they have a lot more defenses at this earlier stage of time. They have, like, s s such a better security system. In the original movie, they just, you know, Sally just escapes by jumping out the window got a clear path and everything. Okay, get over here, Connie. Come on. Ah, oh, fuck. Can I crawl through there? Yeah, okay, he can crawl. Sweet. He takes his time, though. And actually, I didn't mention this, but Edwin Neal, the actor of the original Hitchhiker from the original movie, he, pl he plays the Hitchhiker in this game. I was kind of surprised by that. He His voice has changed. But it's cool they brought him back. He's, like, the only surviving family member. Well, I'll, actually, that's not true. Um, the actor who played Grandpa was actually 19 years old, and he's still alive. At least, I, John Dugan, he's still alive, I'm pretty sure. But uh, you can't really have John Dugan voice Grandpa, because Grandpa didn't really have a voice anyway. He screams in this game. Maybe it's John Dugan doing the screams and the moans. Grandpa's fucking ejacula ejaculating in his pants. I don't know, but... Appreciate they were able to at least get Edwin Neal to come back. Even if he sounds like he's an impersonator. Um, but, you know, he's in his 70s. His voice... The voice is gonna change. You know, some people still hold it against me that my, my voice has changed over the 13 years of making videos. It's... It, it happens, you know? It just happens. Voices change. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, maybe, okay. Greetings, I'm your host! Okay, I don't want to talk like that. I'm tired of it. I don't want to talk like that anymore. No. No, thank you. 
All right, okay. It's me, your host, Dr. Wolfula. How are you guys doing? Okay, God. All right. Two Crypt Keeper. I'm gonna leave that to the Crypt Keeper, you know? Crypt Keeper has, has that locked down. Okay. Are they down here? Let me see. They might not be down here anymore, but I, I can at least get some blood bucket. Good night to you, Maddie D. Good night to you. Noah Alliston says, uh, Kane Hodder did the motion capture for Leatherface. I'm aware. And that's cool. I saw him do the, uh, do the behind-the-scenes motion capture stuff. Did the motion capture for Jason, and I guess they were like, let's bring him back. And he technically did play Leatherface before. He played Leatherface... He did the stunts for R.A. Mieloff in the uh, third movie. He was at least the stunt coordinator of the third movie, and he I think he did some... some shots as Leatherface. I don't know. I, I guess maybe... I don't know. I guess they were like, R.A. Mieloff. He does a good performance as Leatherface, but he can't quite do the stunts. Um, gonna get Kane Hodder for the stunts. All right, uh... Oh, yeah, I forgot I can set traps as the hitchhiker, but I haven't found a good spot where I feel like it's worthwhile. I guess in front of Grandpa, at the very least, so they don't try to f fuck with him. Um, well... I guess maybe... Okay, well... I guess maybe at least I'll put a trap in front of one of the escape routes. I'll do that. I assume that... Yeah, this is an escape route. Okay, good. All right, well... They're gonna be in trouble. I wish the hitchhiker could, like, take pictures of... people he kills. Oh, shit. CBO Gizmo escaped. We're really fucking up tonight. Okay. Well, I guess... Man, I want some head cheese. Yeah, it doesn't really sound like Edwin Neal to me, but yeah, you know. Haven't really heard what he sounds like in recent years, so I don't know. He's getting older. I used to think Edwin Neal was the guy who played... There was, like, some real confusion, because there's an actor named Ed Neal, and then there's Edwin Neal, who played, you know, the hitchhiker. And I always thought Ed Edwin Neal played... Lord Zed in Power Rangers, because for years there was the confusion that was on his Wikipedia. Like, apparently he played Lord Zed, either the voice or in the costume, but no, he didn't. I was disappointed when I found that out, because I was like, whoa! He also played Lord Zed? He's got some serious range, damn. No, I was so disappointed. Alright, I gotta go back to Grandpa already. I got plenty, well, I don't have a ton of blood, but... Where did... Okay, well, let's figure out where Grandpa is first. Yeah, where is he? Can't even tell. Alright, well, I guess I should get back to over... Get back to over... Get back over to where my family members are. Okay, wait. Um, okay. I don't see anybody highlighted. Let's go back to Grandpa. All right, let's see. Uh, Owen McGrath has a super chat. Thank you. Uh, Wolfula, thoughts on Jason Takes Manhattan? Personally, I really enjoyed it. I mean, I have a fun time watching it. It's not a boring movie, but, you know, doesn't have a lot of kills in it, and the kills that are there aren't great or gory like the previous movies were. It felt like they had to really... And, of course, you know, doesn't really live up to its promise of Jason taking Manhattan. And the kills are kind of lame. It just has kind of a goofier, more sitcom -y sort of fucking tone to it. It's just, I don't know. It's not my favorite of the Paramount movies. But it's fun to watch. Just not one of my favorites. I don't hate it or anything like that, but yeah, it's just one of those things where it definitely was like, Paramount kind of just gave up. They were like, eh, let's just make one more 
Hopefully we'll get a decent paycheck and then we'll just sell it to New Line. They've been bugging us about it. Just want to make one more, see if we can turn a profit. And if not, here you go. Okay, so people are really escaping. This is the first time two people have escaped that I've played. It's me, Leatherface. Calm down. It's me, your brother. Nubbins. Or I guess Hitchhiker Slaughter, I guess, is now his new official name. Uh, let's see. Where is Grandpa? Oh, there's Grandpa. Uh, you have to get into a certain range to finally be able to see him. I can't reach him from here, I don't think. God, I hate how labyrinth... It's so labyrinthine. Like, I wish there was a map. Maybe, you know, okay. The family members can get a full map of the whole compound. But, uh, victim characters, the map just gradually is filled in for them as they explore it. Maybe that could be what evens it out. Just, it's so, it's such a pain trying to find your way around this map. It's pretty big, it's pretty labyrinthine. It's, you know, it's not great. And there's lots of, like, dead ends if you're playing a certain character. It's just a pain. I don't know why I couldn't get through there for a second. Okay, well, let's unlock it. Well, the hunt is over. I guess Leatherface or somebody killed the last guy. All right. I was too busy getting lost. Look at how he dances. He's having such a good time. I'm proud of you, Leatherface. I'm proud of you. All right. I'll do one more match for now as a family member. And then I'll play some more matches as the victims. Gotta try to even things out, I guess. J.A. says, I hope we get a Franklin DLC where you just get in the way of the other victims. Oh my god, it would be such a pain in the ass if they insisted on making it true to the original movie where one of the game mechanics is you, you have, like, maybe the only way for the survivors to survive is they have to find a way to get Franklin out of the basement um, and get him to safety. Like you, It's like an escort mission with Franklin. He has to survive or you all lose. Oh, man. That'd be brutal. Wouldn't mind that, you know? <laughs> really make things interesting. Noah Alliston says, play as the cook. I think I might just do that. I think I might just do that. Assuming nobody takes the cook first. Angie says, remember when you said you're going to quit YouTube? You said you're going to quit it. Unlike your April Fool's Day video, like maybe 10 more videos after that. That was an April Fool's joke. I was like, I was, I'm going to make, I'm done making YouTube videos. And it's like, April Fool's, I'm going to make, I, I'm still going to make 10 more videos and then I'm going to quit. Okay, looks like someone got the cook. Maybe I can convince him to swap out with me. We'll see. We'll see how successful I am. I don't have a good character to play as. Okay, sweet. They they compromised. All right, awesome. I'm a level one cook. Just like in real life. No, wait, I'm a level zero cook, just like in real life. Daphne says, are you excited for the Killer Clowns game? I forgot about that. Yeah, they're also, they're also making this year, and this is from the... So, Friday the 13th game was developed by Ilphonic and published by Gun Media. Gun Media pu published this Texas Chainsaw Massacre game, and Ilphonic is developing... is developing the Killer Clowns from Outer Space game, I think. Forgot about that. They went their separate ways after that Friday the 13th game. I guess they were like, okay. 
can't fuck with these people anymore. Um, but, you know, I'm not as excited just because I'm more... I'm more a casual fan of Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Wasn't necessarily begging for a game, but for fans of it, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad they got uh, their video. I guess for hardcore fans that were like, I really hope they make an asymmetrical game. They're getting it. They're getting it. And it looks, it looks actually really high quality. It looks like it's uh, got a lot of features, got a lot of mechanics to it. So I'll definitely check it out. Assuming it's on Game Pass, then maybe I'll have to look at what the price is going to be before I make a decision. Michael Priest says, best YouTuber. And you're the best YouTube commenter. Thank you. All right, just waited on Julie and Sonny to confirm. Michael says, I'll cook you a meal, Doc. Oh, man, I'd appreciate it. Gonna be streaming three hours tonight. Maybe more. Definitely could use a meal. Definitely wouldn't mind having a nice meal. Nice, warm, home-cooked meal to look forward to. The King of the Fed has a super chat. Thank you. Uh, can you say some monarch quotes? Because you sound exactly like him. Die, Dr. Venture! Okay, well, there's that one. That obvious one. Um, what else does he say? Um, okay. Now Samson will come here and go totally sick house on our asses. I like my ass, gentlemen. I know that line. I took, I took sick house from the monarch. I also took Fresca from the monarch. Some people fucking think me liking Fresca is a reference to the boys. I've never watched the boys. It's a reference to the monarch. He mentions liking Fresca twice on the Venture Brothers. So I was like, okay. Give some Fresca a shot, you know? I like it too. Minions! Attack! Okay. I need to go higher, but I kind of don't want to go higher during a stream because my voice is so fucked up after talking for so long. All right, well, Cook is kind of, has kind of limited options getting out of this room. I didn't really know the family read books. I learned something today. I taped all those videos of Night Court for Marky Post. Abusing myself to Marky Post. <laughs> all right. Well, Night Court was big at the time. <laughs> you know, is the Night Court reboot, is it popular? Because I know they came out with a reboot of it. I don't know if it was, like, popular with anybody, though. From what I heard, it sucked. I don't know if they renewed it at all. All right, let's feed Grandpa a little bit of blood. Well, let's see if there's any. Okay, there's some, some around the corner. Assuming there isn't, like, a sudden barricade in the house. They're, like, preparing for a zombie apocalypse. Like, it's just insanely barricaded, this house. There's a lot more barricades than I remember in the movie. All right, let's feed Grandpa what I got. All right, uh, there he is. Hey, Grandpa, here you go. All right. Drink up, Grandpa, drink up. Here's your blood. Need your little blood feast. All right. Looking good. It maybe would have been a cooler mechanic if you had to bring a victim over to Grandpa in order to feed him. Like, you have to bring the victim to Grandpa and bash their head in with the sledgehammer. Because I don't think you get a sledgehammer in this game at all. Like, you would think, I don't know, one of the characters would get the sledgehammer, but they don't. It's kind of strange. It's such an obvious weapon. Instead, the cook just gets his broom handle that he uses in the couple scenes where he beats the shit out of Sally and the hitchhiker. It's like, okay, well, he uses a broom handle. Let's just give that to him. Uh, yeah, it's such a missed opportunity. No sledgehammer. At least maybe an alternate weapon for Leatherface. Maybe as a DLC, I wouldn't be surprised. 
All right, Grandpa woke up. While he was trying to watch his story. He fell asleep watching his stories. Okay, someone's... T oh, I see someone coming up right up right here. Hey, you can't cancel your animation, bitch. Get back down there. Get back down there. I want to see you climb back up. Have fun with Leatherface down there. Have lots of fun down there. All right. Marilyn says, is the sliding metal door with the red skull wall behind there? Oh, you know it. Ah, oh, fuck yeah, Leyland. Take it. Take your medicine, Leyland. <laughs> Hell yeah. Surprised that broom handle hasn't broken yet. They, re they recreated everything shown in the original movie and came up with some stuff that wasn't shown that fits with the original movie, except for Johnny and Sis Avey. New killers. Um, man, oh, this is some good blood. Thanks, dude. I'm sorry, Johnny. I beat you to the punch. The blood punch. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, shit. Where did you go? Around here somewhere. Around here somewhere, Johnny. Okay, uh... Johnny's like, I want to feed Grandpa, too. Let me feed Grandpa. You always get to feed Grandpa. Man, there's plenty of blood to go around. Alright, I guess I could try going downstairs into the basement. See if I can find somebody. Turd Eye Blind says, is the gas station barbecue joint in this game? Yeah, you know it. It's one of the maps. They got the Sawyer family house. I'm not sure what this place is. It seems like, yeah, this is the Sawyer house at night. All the, all the fucking um, basements kind of look the same. So if you get stuck in the basement, you're going to be looking at like the same sort of place. I don't know how they could differently decorate the basements in the game, but I don't know. Oh, I see. Well, that's not Leland. That's got to be Sunny. Or it's somebody. Ah, I can't fit through there. Damn it. Where are you? I saw them. They're hiding somewhere around here. Okay, Leatherface is down here too. I think that was Johnny going up the ladder because it was marked white. And I think only enemies and grandpa are marked yellow. I'm not sure though. But I can't climb ladders because I'm a middle-aged... Well, wait, no, I, okay, I can climb, climb ladders. So he can't go through tight spaces, but he can climb a ladder still. All right, that's good. Noah says this game takes place about two weeks before the events of the original movie. They were pretty busy. They were pretty damn busy. All right, so they're, at least one of them is still down in the basement where Leatherface is. Um, all right, well, let's feed Grandpa. Yeah, let's feed Grandpa. If Grandpa's hungry. You know, look, look at him. He's hungry. Here you go, Grandpa. There's like another house map, though. I might be mistaken. There's like a slaughterhouse map. There's the house, this house map. There's the barbecue map. But I think there's also another house map, which I think might be the, um, oh, there's, oh, they're fucking escaping. Damn it. Oh, they got, they got a, oh, shit, that's not good. Um. <laughs> be nice if this game had a map. Just to know there's an area that far away. It'd be nice. I don't know. Okay, so there's one guy left. Hiding somewhere. But, you know, it's, if these people could escape, then they'd tell everybody about the Sawyer family two weeks before the Texas, like, the actual, you know, Hardesty shit. So I think the other map is the Hardesty house, but I'm not sure. Well, Sheldon Finkelstein. Oh, fucking Shell. Shelly's always escaping. Yeah, we got three escapers. That wasn't good. Joseph Finley asks, thank you for the super chat. Doc, any boobs in the game? I mean, there are boobs. You know, there's four... 
Oh, wait, okay, there's, yeah, there's four female characters. And they have boobs. You don't see them, they're not bare breasts, but there are technically boobs in the game. They're just, you know... They're clothed. Um, all right, let's play some victims now. Switch things up. Begrudgingly playing as the, the victims. Not my forte. Angie asks, how's your wife Meredith? Oh, she's doing just fine. Oh. Wait until you see what she has planned for all of you. Oh, but, you know, okay. That's getting ahead of myself here. All right. Let's see. Oh, I can't play as Sunny. Oh, well. I guess I'll take Leland. Um, maybe? Okay, well, let's see. Strength. Strength. Who's the best at, best at stealth? Um, let's try Connie. I haven't played as Connie. She's kind of dressed like a tramp. Okay, let's see. Uh, Oh, wait, I didn't know you could also, like, upgrade your different attributes, but I don't have- Oh, wait, oh, so that's how that works. I was wondering what these fucking things were, so... Alright, so... Once I unlock one of the- Okay, so I got one of those, so I can upgrade some of these attributes and really customize Connie. Let's make her- No, wait, let's make her better at stealth. Slightly better at stealth, negligibly better at stealth. Um, let's see if I can change out her loadout. Let's see. Uh, clears up your vision to help identify poison objects, traps, and locks set by the cook. Okay. Um, after unlocking a door, the door stays highlight. Uh, your strengths. Holding a key item. Highlights look used for 40 seconds. Okay, well, all of these are pretty useful. Um, traps are kind of, I don't know. Ah, uh, let's just... Take it easy. See what I can do. All right, waiting for one last victim. Come on, give me one, one extra guy. It's gonna be very one-sided. Especially one-sided if we're missing... Missing a a, a, a... a guy for our quartet. You know, we need a Leland. Or we need a, uh... Anna. So come on. Here we go. We got a Leland. Nice haircut, Leland. Looking so pretty. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what she said, says... I love it when Dr. Wolfiela uses profanity. Fuck yeah, you do. Profanity is profundity, if you ask me. King of the Fat says, What if the venture stumbled on the onto the Sawyer house? Um, I think, I think the boys would have died. <laughs> Dr. Venture would have just left. So Connie is more stealthy, so she can... She has a lot more of a threshold to escape. Sweet. Hell yeah. Yeah, that was easy compared to the other characters I played as. But she's probably super weak. But this is a stealth game, and everybody's weak at the end of the day here. Now, I haven't seen it. I don't think it's possible, but... I don't think the victims can kill the Slaughter family, unfortunately. And they are called the Slaughter family in this game. Kim Hankel insists that the Slaughter family is the last name of the, the Sawyer family. Like, the intended last name in his script. I'm not a big fan of the Slaughter fan family name, but, I mean... Just in case. You know, if it gets... If it gets him to cooperate, you know, with this game, all right, fine. They were called the Slaughter Family in the one sequel he directly worked on, Next Generation, so it just kind of reminds me of that. Well, it looks like we lost our Leland, unfortunately. I don't know if I made that noise. No, I couldn't have made the noise. 
All right, let's... Man, of course I want to crawl through that. Okay, I guess Nisi Dawn got killed and then disconnected. Okay. Unless disconnecting just counts as a kill. All right, maybe yeah, probably. So I got a bone scrap. I have never really used one. I hear Leatherface. That's not good. I hear him. I hear you, Leatherface. Okay, that's really noisy. All right, I need a fuse box. Never encountered a fuse box before. Couldn't tell you where they are. For all I know, they're above ground. Okay, so fish, okay, fish parmesan escaped from the basement. I thought he escaped in general, but no. I was like, oh shit, okay. I don't think that made too much noise. I think we're good. There's some exit from the basement. I don't have a tool, though. I'm a tool, but I don't have a tool. Okay. I hear Leatherface, but I'm gonna take a chance. Because this is my survival, after all. He's getting close. He's getting- he's getting close. I hear Johnny, I think, too. Made that so much easier as Connie. Okay, hopefully I can do this tool minigame thing. Oh, pick lock picking. All right, okay, it's not too hard, I guess. It's no Skyrim lock picking. I wish it was, but you know, it, it's not too hard. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, of course, there's the hitchhiker. Oh, I can't go that way. I can't go that way. Connie is... Oh, shit, they latched it. Damn it. All right, this is my one shot. We'll see, see what happens, I guess. Oh, fuck. That didn't look good. Oh, of course I swapped my goddamn health pack. I am so screwed. Well, there's plenty of health potions down here in the basement. Oh, this is not looking good for me. Yeah, this is not looking good. I'm back where I started. Not a health pack to my name. One of these days I'll survive. I'll survive as a survivor. Or as a victim. I guess, you know, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. They're called victims. Of course they're not going to survive. Well, Palo Mo escaped. Good for him. Good for him. All right. Well, it looks like I'm not too bad on health right now. And I escaped the basement again. All right. Oh, shit. Here comes the hitchhiker. Here comes the Leatherface, too. Oh, shit. Run. Run, Connie. You can do this. I believe in you, Connie. Oh, it's not looking good for you, Connie. There's Johnny. There's Johnny, Connie. Oh, you... Right in the back. Damn. Ooh. Maybe he just grazed her. Maybe she can still get up. Well, I was... I... Well, no, it's... One guy escaped. Um, I was the last to survive, I guess. Um, kinda. Enjoy your dance, Leatherface. Enjoy it while you can. Michael Sullivan says the atmospheric music is good, but the music from the original movie is great. It feels like they're trying to go for that, where it's like, you know, you have some banging of pots and pans and shit, like... It's not an exact recreation of the original movie score, but it's trying to get that vibe going. Alright, let's play as family again.
Angie says, would you ever actually want there to be a Jack Frost 3? I'd be down for it. I, you know, Jack Frost 2, I had a hell of a time with it. It's so fun. It's really, um, it's really a fun time to watch it. Um, I would have liked to see what they would have done with, um, a third one. They would have done, like, a giant snowman movie. Probably would look really shitty, but it would probably be fun. Um, probably not gonna happen, though. Surprised they made a sequel uh, to begin with. Uh, I guess maybe the direct-to-video rentals must have been really strong. Just based on the holographic cover. I don't know how they managed to get, like, the... that kind of budget to ha have, like, every VHS have that holographic cover, like, that kind of marketing, but it was cool. Okay, I guess also it helped that the Michael Keaton Jack Frost came out around that time. So it led to some people renting... Jack Frost, the horror movie, as a mistake for their kids, I guess. But I don't know how you can make the mistake because... I guess some people, as a prank, would swap the cases, though. They'd swap the VHS, put them in different cases. Maybe that also maybe led to confusion. I don't know. Honestly, the... <laughs> it's kind of funny, the horror Jack Frost. Like, how Jack Frost looks in the actual movie. He's so much cuter than the Michael Keaton Jack Frost. The Michael Keaton Jack Frost is kind of creepy looking. Oh, wait. Looks like I missed some super chats, so let's address those and play as a different character first. Let's try Sissy. Let's do some Sissy time. Hopefully we get a... Okay, we do have a lot in the face. All right. I'm sorry. I was... I was getting murdered. Um, Okay. Did I? No, I, I addressed the the one. Okay. No, yeah, I addressed I addressed I guess King of the Fat did his super chat twice, but it was the same thing. Um, but Nicole L has a super chat. Thank you, Nicole. Change your voice, Doc. You know, I guess. You know what? I. I guess maybe I'll do a totally different voice. I'll just sound like a normal guy. Um. Hey guys, it's me, Dr. Wolfula, here to play some of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Massacre game. Now, let's, let's not do that. Let's, let's not do that. Alright, let's start. James Stack says, have you seen Speak to Me, Doc? Um, let me think. No, I... It was actually between that and the Last Voyage of the Demeter, and I was like, well... Last Voyage of the Demeter has, like, Dracula in it. I don't know. It's something. Um, I heard Speak to Me was really good, so maybe I went to the wrong movie. But at the same time, I feel like my horror niche is more the kind of more schlockier stuff, the more, like, you know, not the quote-unquote elevated horror kind of stuff is not really my kind of thing anyway. The more... The classier, I guess, horror movies. I'm more like, give me like some monster guys. Give me some, um, give me some Draculas. Give me some guys in mass stabbing people. Give me some zombies. That that's more my kind of thing. So, anytime I do that kind of movie, the other kind of movie where it's like more high concept, crazy. I don't know. It's not really my sort of. Um, domain. Oh, wait, it's Talk to Me, says Harry Behemoth. I was thinking that's the wrong title. It's not Speak to Me, it's Talk to Me. I guess if I was maining one of the characters, I would finally unlock a grandpa power, but I've been, like, jumping back and forth between them. I think I'm gonna main Hitchhiker, I always had a soft spot for him. He's the first family member you ever see. He's the first one that's ever really even implied in the original movie. You see the grave marker with the dug-up corpse that clearly the hitchhiker was responsible for, taking pictures of that shit and everything. He's got a lot going for him. He's cool. Hitchhiker is cool as hell. 
Joseph Finley has a very generous super chat. Thank you, Joe. Doc, how would Bill Cosby sound as Dracula on the Demeter? Um, I guess he'd be like, um... Zip, zip, zip. For whatever reason, I don't feel like drinking blood. I just want some pudding pops. Zip, zip, zip. So I'll let you guys live if you can give me a pudding pop. Zip, zip, zip. And then they give him pudding pops, and it's all, it's all good. You know, Dracula doesn't kill him. He teams up. He teams up with the crew of the Demeter, and they all live happily ever after. <laughs> all right, time to play as Sissy. Actually, can you get an upskirt shot? Okay, well, let's see what she's working with here. Okay, all right, she's got like black underwear. Uh, that's a little disappointing. At least it's not a void down there. I mean, it'd be like fucked up if it turned out she's like not wearing panties at all. It's like. Oh, God. Then this video gets... Not this video. This stream gets delisted. <laughs> gets fucking taken down by YouTube. It's like they forget to mention that to the streamers. Yeah, you could stream our game. Just make sure you don't do any upskirt shots of Sissy. Because, like, why would she... I mean, she's barefoot. Why would she bother wearing underpants? Like, come on. If we're being real here, she wouldn't be wearing underpants. She's not going to put the bare effort into covering her bare feet. She won't be wearing underpants. Glad for my my purposes. She is wearing underpants, though. Hitchhiker got to the bucket first. Um. I mean, it could be like Baldur's Gate 3, where you can turn on and turn off the nudity. You can choose to be completely naked. as like Leatherface if you want to. I've been playing Baldur's Gate 3. I'm 30 hours into the game, and I'm still in chapter... Not chapter 1. Act 1. It's a fucking long game. But it's pretty good. I have mixed feelings about the chance versus luck aspect of it. Like, you can... I've gotten to my... my I've specced out my character to the point where I'm not missing as much. But early on, you miss a lot in that game. All right. Nicole says, Sissy's probably wearing a bra, too. Honestly, she's probably wearing a chastity belt and everything. Like, just... All right, let's see if we can find some victims. Actually, Hitchhiker's ahead of me. Let's just close this door again. I don't want them getting out. Gotta play it safe. And actually, okay, key thing. Lock it and um, use her ability. Oh, man, just gross. This is totally fetish territory. <laughs> like, the, whoever was the developer behind Sissy must have been, like, really pushing hard. Can she also not wear panties? Can she Can she please also not be wearing panties, please? And they're like, no. We, we let you... We let you put her barefoot in this game, but she's got to wear panties. God sake. Oh, wait, okay. Here, here, somebody. Oh, there you are. All right, let's just gang up on her. Oh, yeah, she's dead as fuck. Yeah, she's taken care of. Okay, I saw somebody. That could have been my reflection, though. Not Scotty Rowe. I executed him. Well, no, it wasn't me. I had no part in it. Let's collect some more powder. Owen McGrath has a super chat. Thank you, Owen. Wolf Healer, what is your ideal idea for a new Texas Chainsaw movie to bring the series back to its glory days. Well, I was thinking one aspect is treat it realistically. If Leatherface is still alive, he would be in his 70s or 80s, but basically make him the new grandpa and have, like, you know, a descendant that's pretty much models himself, like, who's idolized Leatherface, so he's the new Leatherface. So you can have... So you can have, like, a new Leatherface and the original Leatherface, and it's, like, totally, you know, it's totally organic. So that's an aspect. And, like, bring the family back into, like, give us a new family that's descended from the original family. Like, you know, expand on the family stuff, because, you know, you can't really 
There's only so much you can do with just Leatherface by himself. Hey, how you doing? Oh, you just walked into this. Oh, sweet. Savage as fuck. Oh, just go to sleep. It's good. All right, looks like we got another victim up ahead. Let's see if I can help Leatherface. Well, maybe I'm mistaken. All right, I'll just feed Grandpa. I got full blood anyway. Oh, they... Leatherface. Oh, man, I wanted to feed Grandpa. I was supposed to do that. That is, like, that moment, though, like, there's lots of moments in this game where it feels like something out of one of the movies. Or the original movie, where somebody thinks they escaped, but they just run into someone knifing them in the neck. Like, that feels really authentic and cool. Like, that feels like, there's, like, lots of moments where it's like, you, you are in a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. It's pretty neat. All right, let's see if I can feed Grandpa finally, though. Because... Oh, wait. No, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. Get back over here. Get... No, no, no. Get over here. Come on. Get over here. I saw you. Come on. Had to have gone this way. Uh, one... One way or another. They're gonna love this. <laughs> All right. Well, enjoy... Trying to escape, I guess. I guess they could have gone that way. Oh, wait. Fuck, where'd they go? I lost him. Man, I had him. Okay, now I see... Okay, I see you guys now. All right, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Okay, come over here. I guess maybe I should have focused on... Okay, I'll focus on her friend I saw. I'm not falling for that. I gotta get... I gotta get her friend. Ah, did they escape? Where'd they go? I saw somebody working on something over here. Fuck. I should have just stuck... Stuck to that chick I was starting to chase. Okay, um... Man. You know, it's actually funny. I was... I forgot this game was coming out today, so... The game, I was planning to do a game stream anyway today, but the original game stream I had planned was the first part of Batman Arkham Knight. I was gonna just finish off the Arkham series. Then I was like, okay, this game is coming out. Okay, I gotta, I gotta stream this. Okay, there's someone down there. Sounds like Leatherface is fucking whoever's up there. All right, let's see if I can catch up. Eventually I'll stream. Eventually, I'll stream Arkham Knight, though. Eventually. I had somebody complain <laughs> about me streaming Batman games, and also me reviewing The Flash, and it's like, you know, sometimes I'm just gonna cover stuff I like, you know, and it's not just gonna be horror movies. You know, it's gonna be some Scooby-Doo stuff on the channel. You know, it's not always gonna be horror. It's going to be predominantly horror, but sometimes I'm just like, I just feel like just, just doing stuff I like, you know? Okay, so they're definitely, they definitely got to be upstairs by now, but I, I don't have, don't have any idea where the fucking stairs are. Let's see, uh, maybe this leads up, we'll see. Yes, this leads up. Hopefully I can feed Grandpa, because I really need to get rid of some of this excess blood. And if you reach a certain threshold with Grandpa's level-ups, he eventually makes it so you can see everybody, no matter where they're hiding. There's just nowhere to hide. There's, they pretty much don't have any hope. Which would really come in handy right now, because I have no clue where they could be hiding. They could be hiding anywhere down in the basement. Okay. Oh, man. I wanted to feed Grandpa. I need to get rid of this blood. 
Damn it. I just can't get rid of my blood. All right, let's try going down this way. Maybe... Maybe there's someone down here somewhere. Michael says, Doc is a fellow Batman fan. Or a nerd, I should say. I want to hear your take on the films. I agreed primarily with your view of the Batman, and Truth might be my new favorite Batman movie. Yeah, it's... I was skeptical about it. Like, I left the theater. I saw the movie twice in theaters. Um, first time I was like, I'm not so sure about it. Like, the only real issue I have with it is kind of the third act, but the more I think about it, the more it works for me, and it just... It feels like a comic book where, you know, Batman, a Batman comic doesn't end with some definitive ending or anything. It just ends with, oh, well, that guy escaped. You know, it, it ends with, like, it's an ongoing universe where more things are happening, and the movie just sets up more adventures. It doesn't have, like, some sense of finality to it. It just, you know, it works on its own, but it, like, sets up clearly sets up sequels like they're planning to do more with that universe all right next match okay um yes all right owen mcgrath says wolfiela i really don't think someone would look up to leatherface i mean he's sort of the joke of the family being constantly beaten up and bullied says owen well i mean we don't really know that much about grandpa sawyer and I feel like, you know, Leatherface, as like the Elder, assuming Grandpa has died by now, he'd be like 150 if he was still alive or whatever. He'd be pushing 200, I don't know. Assuming Grandpa's alive, I think just the fact that Leatherface would be the oldest living member of the family would just make him like, you know, someone to look up to. Maybe, like, I don't know, things change around for him and he becomes more respected within the family. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe he's just, like, he's just become so old, like, and he can't really talk or communicate or anything. <laughs> he's not necessarily totally endorsing what the family's doing, but they're just, like, speaking for him and shit. Like, we don't really know anything about what's going on with Grandpa. You could do that, the, the same thing with Leatherface, where, you know, Leatherface has the saw, and Grandpa had the sledgehammer. They have their, like, you know, uh, they had their own things. Yeah, but... Joseph has a super chat doc. Screw the critics. Which horror movie baddie would you be, and why? Okay, um... At first I thought when you said baddie, I thought you were talking about, like, what hot chick from a horror movie would you play as? And I was like, huh, that's... <laughs> interesting. Um... Uh, let me think. Let me think about that. I guess I'd like to be Dracula, just because I don't really like garlic anyway. So, giving up garlic wouldn't be that big of a deal. And I stay up all night anyway. Like, you know, you get a lot, I get a lot more powers, too. A lot more powers to work with. I can hypnotize people, make them do my bidding. I can't get ju goulash to do shit. Can't get them to do shit. But, uh, all right. Well, we're three hours in. I'm still going to be going. I'm still going to be doing this stream, but I need to take a quick break. So I'm going to leave these folks. Oh, but I feel like a dick, though. Everybody has the check mark. Okay. Well, I was going to take a quick break, but just can't do it. It's so rare everybody, like, is on the same page. In Huerto County for a missing University of Texas student. Sheriff's Department says Maria Flores... All right, let's do this. Look at that little... I don't know. I'm not so sure about the dead armadillo. It just looks a little too... It looks like it's an armadillo that's standing up and they just flipped over the model. Doesn't look quite natural how it's posed, but whatever. I guess it kind of looks like it was taxidermied, which is what Robert Burns did. Pretty much like he taxidermied a bunch of animals for the original movie to use as props. The armadillo we see in the opening is just a dead armadillo. He taxidermied. He learned how to... I think he learned how to taxidermy animals just for the original movie. 
All right, let me see. Well, I guess for now, let's collect some blood. If I can... Oh, wait, I forget. I can highlight blood. There we go. I don't have to look around. There's some blood right there. And there's some more blood over there, I think. I think that's... No, that's powder. Ugh. Whoever is responsible in the family for all these barriers... Making life a living hell for all the other family members. It's like, trust me, it's a good idea. Let's just have all these barriers. Just make it a real pain in the ass to get around the house. Alright, let's try to get it more of a stock pile of blood going first. Wait, did I? Okay, no, I opened that. Okay. Ah, uh, let's just feed him now. Just go for it. Tucker Lee C says, speaking of goulash, he's looking like a snack with long hair. Hmm. I don't know about that, but, uh... All right. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. All right, gotta unlock the door. Who's locking all these damn doors? No wonder Leatherface had to fucking saw so many doors open in the original movie. They're not giving him the keys. Ah, well, okay, let's go down... Let's see if I can go downstairs. Uh, I'm not finding any blood. There's some powder. Oh, there's some blood. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, yes! Now I can go downstairs. So I'll feed Grandpa some more. And then I'll make a little trip downstairs. See what I can do. Maddie says, just played three hours of this. I liked it a lot. I must have been... Honestly, I think maybe today alone, I might have played four or five hours. I've at least played three hours for this stream, but I played it a lot before streaming, so... Got a lot of time in. A lot of, a lot of hours in today. By itself. I started playing the game as soon as it went live. Oh, I see you, son. Oh, you cuffed you. Oh, hey, guys. You wanted to go out? Okay. No, no, no. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, let's close this door back up. Don't want to make it easy for the rest of you guys. They're all, like, hoping someone would open the door. Okay, so one of them got out here. He couldn't have gone out that way. He had to have gone this way. But not near... I guess near Grandpa, maybe, but he would have been hiding really well. Are you okay, Grandpa? What the hell was that? Did I kick Grandpa? King of the Fat has a super chat. Do you think someone should remix the song Hungry Like the Wolf, but instead it's about you? I mean, I'm all for songs about me. I don't care what song it is. But, uh... Of course I think it's a good idea. Go ahead. Go ahead, make that version of the song. I don't mind. Sounds good to me. Oh, speaking of hungry, Grandpa's hungry again. That fat fuck. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can find some more blood for this guy. All right, ah, uh, blood has been depleted. Oh, well. I, I, I know another way to get some blood. All right. Oh, looks like uh, we got a disconnect. Sunny disconnected. Damn. Fucking Sunny. All right. So the hitchhiker and um, the hitchhiker and Sissy can both hide. They can both go into sneak mode. And sneak up on, uh, other, uh, friend- oh, well, I guess I should say victim characters. One of the things that separates her. Leatherface can't crouch down. It's- he just has bad knees. This takes place before the movie where, of course, he, you know, saws his own leg. But, uh, even before that, he still had some bad knees. He just can't crouch. Neither can the cook. Johnny is just too cool to crouch. He doesn't want to crouch. 
so he doesn't have to crouch. All right, let's see. Man, gotta be hiding around here somewhere. I'm not gonna lie, after the stream, I'm looking forward to some dinner. Cause I am getting hungry. I am hungry like the wolf, honestly. All right, let's see if I can find anything up here. Stereo Crow says, just got the game. Hopefully you have a good time with it. With what little is here, um. Not a lot, but uh, hopefully they got some stuff lined up for after release. All right. I mean, I guess I appreciate this game being on Game Pass, though. I don't have to spend 40 bucks on it, you know? I could just got the Game Pass subscription, just fucking play it. Same thing with the Blair Witch game that came out. I wish all these games came out on Game Pass. Because I'm not really a big fan of um, asymmetrical stuff, but it's on Game Pass. That's good news to me. I'll, I'll give it a shot. So I hear Leatherface saw in some stuff, but it might just be him. All right, I see somebody. I hear somebody over there. But the challenge of this game is figuring out a way to navigate the house. I have no clue how to get over there. Okay, okay, I can go this way. All right. Okay, so there's Leatherface. I don't I don't think he got that person though. Maybe I can get over there from here. Oh wait, maybe they went down the well. Oh, they had to have gone down the well. So they're back down in the basement. Alright. Alright guys, they're like, where'd where'd she go? Where'd she go? How did she disappear like that? Alright. Nicole L says, I only have one place that door dashes, and it is closed. Well, you know, got a McDonald's down the street. I'll just drive there. You know, talk about cannibalism. Like, if you guys only knew how much human meat made it into a fucking McFlurry, just by itself, a McFlurry. Something you wouldn't even think would have meat in it. Just imagine how much human meat is in a fucking Big Mac. Just, just think about it. Give it a thought. It's like a lot. Fucking lot. It's mostly human meat. So I'm looking forward to, you know, dining on some human meat and watching my 4K of the original movie, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Honestly, I wish they put a hyphen between chain and saw instead of just putting a space there. Just to make it kind of like Spider-Man. You always have to remember to put a hyphen. Oh no, they're fucking with Grandpa. I'm coming, Grandpa. I'm coming up this ladder. I'm coming for you, Grandpa. I'm coming. Archer says, which movie is Sissy from? from? She's from House of 1000 Corpses and The Devil's Rejects and Three from Hell. Um, they changed her name a little bit, but she's from those movies. Okay, generator turned on. Now I just need to figure out where the generator is. Um, oh, wait, that's downstairs. That's gotta be downstairs. Okay, but they were fucking with Grandpa, though. Okay, I gotta feed Grandpa. See what I can do. Grandpa, I'm here to help you. Good, ain't it? There, there. It, it's all right, Grandpa. Michael Diaz says, I'm a Burger King or what a burger guy myself. Oh, man. <laughs> if you only knew... How much fucking human flesh was in a Burger King me? Oh, man. McDonald's is bad about that, but oh, boy. Burger King? Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> How do you think they still haven't gone out of business? Half the people who go into a Burger King don't make it out. Ah, oh, fuck. So, I don't know if the generator is above ground or underground. Um... I think actually it's above ground, but I don't know where it is. I don't have a map. 
There's so many barriers. It's hard to say. Oh, I see I see Connie, though. So I'm coming over there, Connie. Don't worry. I'm, I'm going to catch up with you, Connie. I wish this game had the throwing knives. Something. I don't know why they wouldn't carry a gun. Oh, come on over here, Connie. I see you. Come on, Connie. I'm getting, I'm getting to you. Hey, Connie, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Come on, Connie. I'm almost at it. Fucking stamina, though. Oh, of course. yeah, you fucking pussy. Got some of your blood, though, bitch. Okay. A little bit of blood. A little bit of blood goes a long way. Yeah, she went down the well, jackass, okay? All right. Uh, oh, fuck. Michael says, I prefer the day maps. I mean, it really separates this from a lot of the other asymmetrical horror games, because you don't really see lots of horror games taking place during the day, and a lot of Texas Chainsaw Massacre takes place during the day. It's nice they, you know, had that aspect. Oh, fuck, okay, I see you. Ah, oh, man, they are tricky. Hopefully I can get over there. Oh, they got away. Yeah, oh wait. Yeah, they, they're getting away. Yeah, they're all, I think they already escaped. I think they're, I think they're good. I think they're home free now. Guys, come on. Oh yeah, and if you press the um, right, the right stick, uh, you can change the uh, direction of your character, the direction they look in. Okay, so there's electric... I was wondering how they, like, trap that. But they have, like, I guess an electric trap on the floor. Okay, I gotta get to her before she gets back to the dam. Ah, oh, sissy! Get out of your stun lock. Damn it. Sissy. All right, I'll get her on the other side. Assuming everything goes as planned. All right, come on. Come on, get out of your stun lock, sissy. Come on! We got her! We got her by the balls! Come on! Man, they are so durable. Come on, I could do this! Get out of the stun lock! I gotta clean off my knife! I can't overuse my knife, after all. I want to be the one to kill her! Ugh. Johnny's gonna kill her, I just know it. Yeah, Johnny killed her. Damn it. Well, at least we got her. Ricky the Mad Dragon! As a super chat, thank you, Ricky. Hi, Doc. How's the game so far? It's fun. Doesn't have a lot of content, but what's here it works really well. It's pretty, um, it's pretty solid and, uh, polished, you know. Oh, wait. Where are you going? Okay, maybe I, maybe I can still get somebody. If, if Sissy would just get up. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, I don't think so. All right. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Hell yeah, savage as fuck. Yeah, that's pretty fun, you know? You know, I gotta like a game that's like this, you know? It's pretty neat. Hell yeah. Benny says, isn't there a gas station level? I think we saw it once. Hopefully we'll get to see it next. Now, after Leatherface is done doing his dance, I'm going to take a quick break and then I'll come back. So just give me a moment. Let me uh, take a quick break.
right, I am back. Okay, let's do this. And you know, uh, this game in Baldur's Gate 3 will be tiding me over for sure for uh, Starfield. I actually am playing this right now with the Starfield Xbox controller. Looking forward to Starfield. It's been a while since we got a Bethesda game. I'm not so sure about it, but it'd be nice to play a Bethesda game, a new one that's single player. Because Fallout 76, it fucking sucked. I've tried so many times to play through that, but the multiplayer aspect of it is just not for me. It's just not for me. All right, still waiting for a, uh, yeah, actually, let me see. Yeah, still waiting for a match, unfortunately. Um, Maddie D says, let's not have discussions without the doc being present. I don't want to miss out on anything. Well, okay, let's play some more Leatherface. Yeah, put that Hanson chainsaw to good use. Rest in peace, Gunner Hanson. Mickey says, Doc, since the Sawyers are cannibals, would you want to see a meetup with Hannibal Lecter? Um, I'm kind of surprised they never did that in the comics or anything like that. I guess it could be neat. Um, I guess he could, I guess it would be kind of funny if Hannibal Lecter was like Gordon Ramsay to the Sawyers. Like he like looks at how shitty the Sawyer barbecue is and he's like, oh, this is fucking horrible. Like just tries to turn him around, I guess. Show them, shows them, like, some cannibalistic cuisine. Like, I don't know. <laughs> this is how you do fucking human flesh barbecue. Ricky says, I wonder if Matthew McConaughey is going to be here. He better be. He better fucking be. And Christopher says, or Billy Zane. I, I, I'm hoping, I mean, Billy Zane was here in the chat earlier, but I'm hoping we get a Billy Zane DLC for this game. He was never in any of the movies. But, um, still hoping for it. And just so you guys know, this game does open with an opening crawl narration, but it is not John Larroquette narrating it. Just didn't have the John Larroquette budget. He was willing to do the fucking 2022 movie, though. He was totally willing to do it. All righty, here we go. Oh, wow, okay, this is a freebie. Wow, this is fucked up, though. They're just in the room with me. How'd they already get down from the... How'd they do that? Like, they didn't even have to... Unless there's, like, a head start for the survivors or something. I don't know, but... Where'd they go? I had them in my sights. Fuck, where'd they go? They must have gone through the damn narrow corridor. Oh, okay, I see you. All right, hopefully this leads me straight to you. Ugh, no. No, ah, damn it. I hate fucking construction of the damn maps. It's so labyrinthine. It's like I'm playing Pac-Man. Where'd you go? Oh, wait, okay. Where'd you go? Where, where'd she go? She disappeared on me. All right, well, I know one of them went this way. Benny says you should play a survivor. That way you learn how to kill better. I have been playing a survivor, but not as much. Just more of a fan of playing as like the killers. The band, of course. The man, I hope they add a Killers DLC where you can play as Brandon Flowers. That'd be great. Just imagine the kind of shit he says when he kills people. Ah, uh, I see you. 
I see you, girl. Come over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Grandpa. All right. Okay. I got a little bit off of Anya, uh, Anna's haircut. I gave Anna a totally new haircut just now. All right. Get over here, Anna. Oh, no, 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 no. That's just gonna... Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Um... Yeah, okay. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Oh, you... You tricky, tricky bitch. Ah, oh, you tricky, tricky little bitch. I don't know why I couldn't fucking stab her there, but all right, fine. She, where'd she go? She has to have gone this way. She's probably hiding in the bushes. It's so dark. Damn. Okay, I hear you, so I'll go off after you, I guess. I at least have an idea. Oh, she went down the well. Oh, well, then. Oh, well. Let's see. Uh, I, I just know Anna's got to be around here somewhere. Somewhere hiding out here. Hmm. Damn it. Okay, well... How much blood do I? I got a decent amount of blood. Let's make a little visit to good old grandpa. Good old grandpa. So yeah, I don't actually don't know what this map is supposed to be. It's like a bunch of sheds, I guess. I don't know if it's based. I guess maybe just that huge... The... Yeah, I guess, yeah, it's just like a bunch of sheds, I suppose. It's just kind of like some farmland near the Sawyer house or something. Just that area, I suppose, with all the cars broken down. All right. Yeah, drink up, Grandpa. You look really thirsty. Oh, I'll give you a little head pat, Grandpa. Now, where the hell... All right, Grandpa. You see anybody, Grandpa? You don't see anybody. All right, that's great, Grandpa. Thanks, Grandpa. You're so helpful. Hmm. Okay, uh... Oh, I, okay. So, no, it doesn't help me at all. She's down there. Um, I can't get down to the well. So, um, uh, Leatherface, don't be a pussy. Just go down the well. Just go down the well, Leatherface. Just jump down. Okay, so I think she's... Hmm. Okay, so I think she was trying to come out this way. Okay, so yeah, they're trying to escape that way. All right, let's try to nip that in the bud. Uh, hopefully this leads where I want to go. Well, Johnny got a kill in, I think. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ricky says it'd be cool if the... D developers behind Alien Isolation made a Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. Yeah, that'd be cool. That's what I would think. I mean, I guess maybe Alien Isolation... Alien Isolation is like a... became a cult hit, but it apparently wasn't very financially successful. So I guess maybe that's why we haven't seen horror games like that again. Oh, it's just you guys. You... You bums. Ah, oh, great. All right, well, maybe she went up the fucking ladder, but I'll never know. I can't go up ladders. I'm Leatherface. Yeah, I guess it's true. I've never seen Leatherface go up a ladder before. I guess it is consistent, you know? It is true to the film franchise. He does not climb ladders. That's just not a thing he does. Ah, damn it. Where'd they go? They probably up... Probably upstairs, getting out of here, escaping, while I'm dicking around down in the basement. Ugh. Does this lead anywhere? Please tell me it does. Yes, thank you. All right, here we go.
Okay, hunt down final victim. Okay, we're down, down to one. All right, how much blood do I, I don't have any blood. It's been a while since I killed anybody. Maybe I can help out by uh, giving grandpa some blood. All right, hopefully I can. Man, we have barely given grandpa any blood. Wow, just a pathetic amount of blood. Oh man, I know grandpa is in here. Okay, here we go, all right. I was afraid it's gonna have to go all the way around. Okay, sweet. Here you go, Grandpa. Hopefully you can fucking help us out. All right. Well... Maybe... No. Yeah, this... They're not taking that exit if they're trying for that exit. They gotta be down... Ah, man, okay. Well, okay, let's get rid of this. This this fucking thing really annoyed me earlier, so let's just get it out of the way. There we go. All right, sweet. I do kind of wonder what uh, Chop Top's skill set would be if they added him to this game. I wonder. Hmm. Like, what would he be his special ability? Let me think. Ah, uh, well... I guess somebody escaped. I don't know. Well, hell yeah! Leatherface is happy, so I'm happy. I'm pretty fucking happy. I'm happy about this. Sweet! Didn't really level... Okay, I leveled up some of the uh, skills, at least. All right, let me see. Okay. Well, let's do one last match. One final match. Let's see if I can get some more kills in tonight. Please. Please give me some more kills. Scott Miller says, this looks dire. Um, you know, it's, it's okay. It's an okay game. It's fine. It's not a triple-A game or anything like that, you know, but it's kind of fun to play, you know. I guess, I don't know, Chop Top's moveset would maybe integrate some of his Vietnam experience in some way. Um, wonder, maybe. Ricky has a super chat. Thank you, Ricky. Have you ever played Resident Evil 7? It's like Evil Dead and Texas Chainsaw. There's even a chainsaw fight based on Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 with Dennis Hopper. Now, I have it on Steam. I've been meaning to play it on my Steam Deck or just on my PC, I guess. But uh, I wanted to, like, f try to finish Resident Evil... Resident Evil, Resident Evil 8 and 4, which I started, but I haven't finished yet, but maybe I'll just, I don't know, maybe I'll try 7. I already got it. Maybe I'll, yeah, maybe I'll get more into 7, I guess, because I am, I am aware that it's like Texas Chainsaw Massacre style. It's got like a crazy family and everything. All right, looks like we're about to load into a lobby. Here we go. Now, who am I going to play? I'll play as, play as Hitchhiker. Good old Chop Top's brother. I think, I don't know, I wasn't totally clear on it, but I think the Hitchhiker is supposed to be... Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Hitchhiker is Chop Top's twin brother. Could be mistaken, but I think that was what they intended with him. Because I do know, you know, Chop Top was basically just created as a surrogate for the hitchhiker who dies in the original movie. And they saw Toby Hooper... I mean, Toby Hooper saw a parody called The Texas Chainsaw Manicure that starred Bill Mosley as the hitchhiker in it. And was like... T told him, if we ever make a sequel, you'll get to play the hitchhiker or something. 
Not quite the hitchhiker, but definitely a cool... His own cool character. Honestly, my favorite, I guess my favorite of fam- of Leatherface's family members. I would definitely main Chop Top if he was in this game. All right, sweet. Now it's time for the hitchhiker to get a little fun times down here. I wonder if maybe the fact that we don't see Johnny and Sissy, even though this takes place two weeks before the original movie, they either weren't present for the original movie's events, or... Or they, I guess, got killed sometime between this game and the original movie, I guess. Maybe that's how you can at least make it work. I don't know. All right, let's unlock some doors. But honestly, you could make a single-player campaign out of this. Like, just like a, at least an hour to two-hour campaign out of this, like... But they never really bother with that, with these asymmetrical games. Just to have, like, some kind of single-player thing. You could have a survival horror game. Do something... Like, make something with what's here. But they never really... I don't know. They never really bother with it. They never did it with the Evil Dead game. It was just... Single-player missions. But at least they had some single-player. It had a, it had playable tutorial. And it had single-player missions... It had something. This game doesn't have anything single player. It does the bare minimum of an asymmetrical horror game. Like, definitely the bare minimum. Um, I'm enjoying this game, but it's definitely... Oh man, I want to fuck that guy up, but I can't... I can't get in there arbitrarily. I have to wake up Grandpa first. Grandpa doesn't like people going down in the basement before he wakes up. So I'll just wait here until I can. Actually, I'll... Use his, I'll use the trap. Let's set some traps. Oh, wait. Okay, I can't set traps there. All right. Too close to the door. <laughs> You'll never see this. It always works. Jack says, didn't they... I thought they gave Evil Dead the game an update with single player. I mean, it has single player in it. But it... Okay, now I can get in there. It has single player in it, but it's not like a campaign or anything. It's not like they're... There's, like, the missions are kind of like mini-campaigns, sort of, with a slight story to each of them, but there's not really a... Would have been cool to have, like, a full-blown story. All right, well, let's get some more blood. Well, it sounds like Leatherface is over here. Hey, Leatherface, how you doing? All right, there's somebody up there, but I think that's... That might just be Johnny or something. Because I feel like if if somebody was just running up there, they would be triggering Grandpa. Grandpa would be like, hey, motherfuckers, they're up here. Man, this is a big-ass basement. Oh, man, okay, nothing over here. Owen McGrath has a super chat. Thank you, Owen. Wolfie, do you think it's weird how Michael in Halloween ends suddenly becomes a spiritual being and gains the ability to put evil into Corey, even though Michael is just a very tough human serial killer? I don't really see it as that. It looked like it was kind of like that thing, but it, it feels like it's giving you that sense of the evil is being transferred and shit. Like, it is... It's kind of open to interpretation, but it's just trying to give you that vibe where... Michael is like, now there's a little bit of me in you, boy, or something like that. But it's not like, there's nothing about it that's like magic necessarily. Um, it's just, it gives you that sense of it. Like, there's something magical about Michael, but it could just be, you know, just a vibe. But it's not really, it's not really... It's not really actually a magic guy or anything like that. I don't know. Because, you know, he's... He's definitely very much human in Halloween Ends. He's definitely the most human he's ever been depicted. He got fucked up at the end of Halloween Kills, and he's still fucked up. Like, you know... He won in that movie, but, you know, it came with some... came with some serious compromises. It came with some serious consequences... Things weren't good for him after that, but he survived, but just barely, and he's not living a great life. Um, 
All right. All right, maybe... Well, let's see what's over here. That was something I kind of liked about Halloween Ends, though, was just... He's like... He can... He's ultimately a human, but he's driven by something inside him that's, like, makes him more than a human. But he ultimately is, like, held back by his fleshy human body. Like, he ultimately has these limits, but he can take a lot of fucking abuse. And it just says something about how much he was able to just endure before he finally... For, for, before he finally went out in the end. And after all that, he still was able to give Lori a bit of a fight. It wasn't like a very satisfying fight, but... Oh, well. You know, I, we got so many fights with Michael and Lori. It did feel more like a... More like a return to the original movies, kind of little cat and mouse between Lori and Michael, where it's a little bit more intimate. It's a little bit more they're in their in each other's faces. They're in a very limited, small environment. So I feel like it works okay on that level. Maybe would have been nice to see him, I don't know, die in a more satisfying way. I don't know, where Lori feels like more of a fight is put up. But at the same time, I feel like what they did with... I don't know how Michael get, ultimately gets killed is Michael would have... It would have been a stalemate if if Allison hadn't saved Michael. It would have been a total stalemate. They would have just killed each other, like Laurie thought was going to happen. But the difference between Laurie and Michael is that Laurie actually has loved ones. She was able to, like, you know, turn her back on Michael and, like, you know, focus on her family more to the point where Allison was, like, willing, even though, like, Allison, for whatever crazy reason, was into Corey and was, like, insistent on... Corey being innocent, like, she still came back for Lori and to save her life. So that's a big difference, because meanwhile, the closest thing to a son Michael Myers has is Corey Cunningham. He fucking just kills that guy. Like, just is like, all right, you stole my fucking mask. I'm just going to kill you. Like, just, there's just no, you know, it's only so, you can only go so far when you're like a human sort of slasher like Michael. You don't really have anybody who's got your back, unfortunately. So you end up dying in the end. Okay, uh, let me... Well, okay, let's feed Grandpa, and then I'll address my super chats. All right. Thank you for the uh, super chat donations, Nicole L and Katie B. Thanks for the future dinner. Owen McGrath has a super chat. Wolfie, do you... Th oh, wait, no, I already read that one. No, that was the whole thing I went on the spiel about. Okay. But, you know, I I like Halloween ends. It has, I have problems with it, but even after all this time, I'm looking forward to making my mega review, which I haven't really talked about at all, but I'm going to make a mega review for October this year. It's probably going to be like an hour long. I'll have some stuff I don't like about it, but I, I did like it. It was like Halloween Kills. Like, it had stuff I didn't like, but I ultimately just like it. I, I, it, I mean, Halloween, I don't know. It's sort of... I'm just not sure how I... Because I don't know. The more I think about it, I don't know. It's just a... It's like... I don't know. It's got that Halloween 3 vibe, but it still has Michael in it. And the funny thing is that it has more Michael... There's more Michael screen time in Halloween Ends than there is in the original Halloween, too. Um, so it's fun, funny that people are like, it doesn't have Michael in it, but it's, you know, it's like the original movie. You don't really see Michael that much. Unfortunately, I was disappointed by that aspect. It would have been nice to see... It would have been nice to see another Halloween movie where Michael's actually stalking. All right, I gotta unlatch this, unlatch this door. Someone was here. Someone, okay, maybe they're hiding in here, hopefully. Oh, no. I was hoping they would, I don't know, because based on the trailers for Halloween Ends, it made it seem like it was a return to Michael Myers is stalking Laurie again for some reason. That's what they, they really made it misleading. That's what it seemed like it was gonna be. No, 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 you're not escaping. Wait, maybe they already escaped. 
Unless that was... I don't know. Unless it's something I didn't want to do. Hopefully that wasn't something I wasn't supposed to do. Um... All right, let's set a trap here just in case, I guess. I feel like I maybe fucked things up. But maybe that'll at least, like, draw in the survivors over here if I did fuck things up for myself. Oh, no. That guy disconnected. I don't blame him. Man, Grandpa's pissed off about something. Uh, well, okay, I'm, get some more blood. Yeah, I'm actually, I don't have a lot of blood on me. Way Cool Dude says, two of my favorite doc reviews are the Ghost Shark video and the Silent Night Deadly Night 4 review. Okay, that's nice to hear. Don't really hear a lot of my, I don't, <laughs> it's just nice to hear, I guess, are some recent videos people like, and I, <laughs> Definitely like doing those videos. Okay, uh... Oh! We got an escapee! We got an escapee. They escaped that way? Couldn't have. They couldn't have. Oh, yeah, okay, so you want the generator on. Oh, I really fucked things up. It sounded like it was something I was supposed to do. He was like, nobody's escaping while I'm around. What? Why would they even let you do that? Why would you... Okay, well... Generator's back on, I guess. Oh, fuck. I agree with you, Johnny. We need to focus and kill these victims. Killer Groove says Ghost Shark was hilarious. I've watched it like five times at least. Well, that's good to hear. It's good to know. Because, you know, I'm, I don't know. Never totally sure about those kind of videos. Actually, I don't know. I guess another issue is, I don't know. Uh, just because, I don't know, YouTube comments can be so overwhelming. I don't really read them anymore, so I don't really know what anybody thinks about the recent videos. I don't really hear what people think about it. Because, I don't know, I was just like... <sighs> just, I don't know. Like, starting, I think, last year, I just stopped paying attention to comments and metrics and was just like, I'll just make the videos I want to make, and... If I get, like, someone complaining to me in a message or something, I'll know I fucked up. But it hasn't happened yet, so... I gotta figure, I, I don't know, I'm doing something right. Someone, people aren't, like, fucking yelling at me on Twitter or anything, so... Alright. But I guess maybe I need to at least get back into reading comments on new videos. At least to a certain extent. There's too many comments, but... Need to at least read some of them. Man, I don't know where they could be. Where they could be. They could be down here, but probably not. What is this? What is this? Their weed supply? Okay, uh... Hunt down final victim. Okay, uh... We got a Connie on the loose. We got a Connie on the loose. Let's see. Unless that was the last victim. I'm not sure. Yeah, Connie might be a straggler that's still hiding down here, hoping, hoping nobody finds her. Let's see. Michael Diaz says, Halloween Kills is my favorite review of yours, Doc. It's so damn good. Well, that's good to hear. Um, also a recent video. Okay, that's good to hear. But I do regret some things I said. Like, I was like, well, you know, people don't like this movie now. But once Halloween Ends comes out, I think we'll have a clearer picture of things and more people and then they ended up hating halloween ends even more um so oh well um didn't turn out that way i do like halloween ends but yeah i, I was a little too i don't know too sure of things <laughs> i was definitely ignoring the leaks and stuff where it's like okay 
probably should have should have known better. Where could they be hiding? Okay, let's just focus on getting the grandpa. Okay, I guess that's the fuse box or something. Yeah, there's some things that didn't age so well in the Halloween Kills video. <laughs> And they things that aged really quickly too. Like the Halloween ends came out like two weeks after. I don't know. You got some stuff to address in the Halloween ends mega review. Though. Got some things to address. <laughs> Dad X Sponge says I loved your Universal Horror reviews. Oh yeah, I did do those this year. I'm glad to hear you know people are liking things. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that because. That was, okay, we're at maximum, so now we know exactly where they're hiding. I'll try to make, I'll try to make Deguary and Universal Horror Month a thing. Like, you know, an annual thing now, along with October. Grandpa's in, what do you mean Grandpa's in danger? The last survivor's over here, shut up. Aw, oh, man, I wanted to kill her, oh well. I got some blood, oh well. Let's feed Grandpa, though. Grandpa's full. Oh man, I wanted to, I wanted to feed Grandpa. <laughs> All right, well, PJ says, "What's your favorite character from every Texas Chainsaw movie?" This is gonna be a little challenging for some of them. Um, uh, let me think. Well. I guess, I guess Hitchhiker in the original one, Chop Top in two, I guess, I guess Leatherface in three, because he's got that Saw his family, Chainsaw, it's super cool, um, Matthew McConaughey in four, uh, in the remake, gotta go with Sheriff Hoyt, same in the, same in the prequel to the remake, um, I guess Alexandria Daddario in 2013, just because she says, Do your thing, cuz! Such a fucking cool line. Um, then I guess, I don't know, fucking Leatherface? I don't know. Uh, I guess whoever the hell Leatherface was in Leatherface. Um, and then the 2022 one, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I don't know, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I guess Leatherface, just because he kills everybody. Yeah, I guess Leatherface again. All right. Well, good night, folks. But before I go, I want to give a special thanks to my super... My, uh, my shout-out supporter tier folks on Patreon and my YouTube channel memberships for all of their support. Their support is greatly appreciated. It helps the channel continue to grow and continue to thrive. It makes it so I get to continue making videos for all you people. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate it. Also, I got some merch on tpublic.com slash user slash Dr. Wolfula if you're interested. And a reminder, got some upcoming videos soon, including a movie night uh, with Patreon supporters tomorrow uh, of Amityville 3D. So support the channel if you want to access that movie night. Link in the description. Also, uh, you know, early access to the Hall next Halloween audiobook. Also coming very soon is the big crossover with the Gulag again. This time, Gulash and I are going to be in frame together, interacting with each other. So subscribe to the Gulag channel if you want to check that out. Our review of the mystery begins. It's a review on the thumbnail. I think maybe, I don't know. I think maybe I'm just going to mislead people. I'm just going to say it's a review. Oh, Owen McGrath has a uh, super chat before I go. Thank you, Owen. Wolfula, do you find it weird Halloween Ends forgot about Corey, the main character, once the Michael and Laurie showdown happened? To me, Corey is what brings Michael and Laurie back together in the end. Like, to me, Corey is basically a combination of Laurie and Michael Myers. It's, uh, to me, it's like, basically, Corey is an examination of what would it take for somebody like Laurie Strode to become a killer like Michael Myers. And it's an interesting idea. Corey starts out as this babysitter. He he accidentally kills a kid. He's considered a murderer. He has like a similar backstory to Michael where he like killed someone in a certain house. Everybody's convinced he killed him though, but he's like, you know, still a good kid. But then he just becomes a killer like Michael. 
just sort of... I don't know, I guess because people push him. So it's also got, I don't know, it kind of mixes in some aspects, some elements from Rob Zombie's Halloween, where he's not quite Michael because he has motivations for his killings. Michael's motivations don't come from anywhere, but Corey is like more of a human at the end of the day, more of a human version of Michael Myers, where he isn't really pure evil. He's just, what would it take for someone to become like Michael Myers, essentially? But anyway, good night, folks. See you next time. I've been your host, Dr. Wolfulis, signing out. Bye-bye. Hope you enjoyed this live stream. Why don't you watch another thing while I have your attention?